Want to know if your Cantonese skills are improving and what your real learning level is? Get your language skills assessed with our free level assessment test. Just click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get assessed. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Talk Words. Today we're going to talk about 10 most common breakup lines. What? Why do you want to learn this? I don't want to do this. Okay, for educational reason, let's go over the list now. I think we need a break. I think we or us. is to separate, but adding the ha makes it a short term. So to separate for a while, so to have a break. Nobody really just have a short break. It just a real breakup. So that sucks. <laughs> 我需要一些人空間, I need my space. 我需要 is I need. Um, 私人空間 is private space. So I need more space. I need my own space. I need more space. 我需要一些人空間。我想我們進展得太快. I think we're moving too fast. Again, 我想, I think, 我們, we or us, Zhen is progress or to progress the verb or the noun. The Tai Fai Tai is too much or too Fai is fast. So too fast. Zhen Zin the Tai Fai progressing too fast. Someone who is not ready for the relationship might say that. I don't know. Let's just be friends. Actually someone broke up with me with this sentence on a text. So I was like, huh? We're already friends. What are you talking about? Oh, I just got dumb. That's what I realized. 朋友 is friend. So, Sunla is kind of like dismissing something. 我们做朋友 is let's be friends. Then 我们做朋友 Sunla is let's just be friends. It's like degrading. 我没有心理准备发展这种关系. I'm just not ready for this kind of relationship. Some lay they is um, psychologically prepared. Some lay is psychology, and Jun Bei is preparation or to prepare. So I don't have this psychological preparation for this kind of relationship. I need to focus on my career. See is Korea. Jun uh, is to focus. I need to focus on my career. This is a very common excuse, but I might not buy it. <laughs> I'm not good enough for you. Of course you're good enough for the other person or else you won't be the one breaking up with them. It's um, trying to degrade yourself and make the other person happy about the breakup. That doesn't really work. Boy is to match, so more name hate is like my status doesn't match with yours. I just don't love you anymore. Ouch, that hurt. That's really honest, but kind of too direct. is like I already. Yigeng is already. Enjoy, not anymore. Ngoi love. So, Ngoi I just don't love you anymore. We're just not right for each other. That's actually a better line to break up with someone. Um, you hang out, you date for a while, and then you realize you're not right for each other. So this is an honest confession. I hope the other person thinks the same. Sick hub is to be appropriate, to be right for each other. So Fong is each other. We're just not right for each other. We've grown apart. Means um, we no longer have the same goal, so we're growing apart. That sucks. That usually happens to people who have dated for a long time. It's really hard to keep growing together at the same pace. 
That's it for today. Today we talked about the 10 most common breakup lines. Leave us a comment if you have any other breakup lines. Uh, please subscribe to check out more Cantonese videos and check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list. I'll see you next time. Bye! Breakup lines, which I hate. And the honk that I hate. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia. Today we are on the beach and we're going to talk about 20 words you need for the beach. First is Satan Beach. Sa is sand, so Sa is sand, Satan is beach. This hotel is very near to the beach. And we are on English Bay today. Look! And the sun just set. So the next word is Taiyangan Gan sunglasses. See, I have Taiyangan Gan here. Remember to bring your sunglasses when going to the beach. Next, Yao Sui swimming. The advantage of swimming is staying slim. See, I'm slim, but I don't really swim that much. Do you like swimming? I used to swim a lot, but not anymore. Taiyang, sun. Taiyang lo san the sun is setting. We have to go back to the campsite before the sun goes down. Or else it's too dark. Zhong lo su, palm tree. The palm trees and beach in Hawaii are the most fascinating. I've never been to Hawaii, I want to go too. Next, Bui Hok Shell. Is there any Bui Hok? I think this is a Bui Hok. Parts of a Bui Hok, parts of a shell. This is my handmade seashell accessory. Wing Yi swimsuit. My favorite swimsuit is bikini. I think that's what most people like. Hai ocean. They call get a sink means it though hai hai. Seventy percent of the earth's surface is covered by ocean. So I'm facing the ocean as I'm filming this video. It's fantastic. Gao Sang Yu, lifeguard, like Baywatch. <laughs> Lifeguards have to receive professional training. Do you know any lifeguards? I think I have some friends who used to be a lifeguard and then they went to work at an eye bank, so it's totally a different occupation. Jet ski. Many tourists like to go to Thailand for jet skiing. I used to go to Thailand for wakeboarding, but never tried jet skiing. I think I'm afraid that I would crash. Satan Gun Beach Towel. She loves the beach towel with the cartoon characters on it. I have my Satan Gun here. Look! Sa Seng Bo. Sand Castle. Sa is sand. Sengbo is castle. Lots of small kids are making sand castles on the beach. Bing Sun Cooler. So we bring drinks to the beach in a cooler. We bring coolers when we go picnic in the summer. Too noisy, helicopter! And people singing. Look. Tiao Zek Tai. Tiao Zek ge zhang tui tong yu liang yang nek yao guan. The high to low tide is affected by the gravitational force of the moon. Next, Sai Tai Yang. Tan. Sai is like to be exposed. 
Taiyang, it's sun, so Sai Taiyang to tan to get a sun bake. 大部分女士都好怕晒太阳。Most of the ladies do not like to have tan skin. I think that's for Asian ladies because、um, for Asian culture, the whiter your skin, the paler your skin, it means you are from a better family or you don't have to work outside. So for Asian girls, they like to stay white and pale. Fao <laughs> Tim snorkeling. 珊瑚湾係遊客嘅浮潛熱點。Cory Bay is the hot spot for tourists to try snorkeling. Next, 人字拖 flip flop. 人 is like people, but because the, of the shape, it's like this. So a slipper with the shape that holds on to your feet like that is called flip flop. 去沙灘著人字拖方便又舒服。It is convenient and comfortable to wear flip flops to the beach. I did not wear flip flops today, though. 防曬傷 sunscreen 防 is to avoid, 曬 is to tan, and 霜 is like ointment or cream. So 防曬傷 sunscreen. 查防曬傷可以預防皮膚癌 You can prevent skin cancer by putting on sunscreen. That is also what、um, Hugh Jackman promotes. I heard because he has、um, experience. Uh, of、uh, first stage of skin cancer, I heard. So he always tell people to put on sunscreen. Next word is bikini. Bikini. 今年夏天興一件頭多過 bikini. One piece swimsuit are more fashionable than bikini this summer. I agree. There are so many like really cool cut out one pieces this year. So I'm looking forward to get one for myself. <laughs> 沙滩排球 beach volleyball. 去沙滩除咗游水，仲可以打沙滩排球。Besides swimming, you can also play beach volleyball when you go to the beach. I think sometimes people. Oh, there are people playing beach volleyball here. Let's see. I'm not sure if you could see people playing beach volleyball over there, but yeah, people are playing beach volleyball here. So that's it for today. Today we talked about 20 words you need for the beach, and we are.、Um, I'm on holiday in Vancouver, and we are on English Bay. So I hope you enjoy the view here, and I hope to see you soon in other videos. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list. My name is Olivia, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi everybody, Olivia here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Cantonese questions. The question for this lesson is, what are tones? Many Cantonese learners find the tones confusing because the intonation in Cantonese is very different from most of the other languages. Tones is the use of pitch to distinguish meaning. Each Chinese character comes with a tone, and it is important to pronounce Cantonese correctly because there are so many words that come with the same Yuping spelling. If a person doesn't pronounce the tone right, a listener may get something completely different from what they actually meant to say. Let's get into more details. How many tones are there? There are six tones in Cantonese. The first tone is high and steady. C. C. The second tones start with a low pitch and rises to a high pitch. C. C. History. The third tone is a mid tone. It's pronounced in the middle of your range and it is steady. C. C. To try. The fourth tone is the lowest tone. C. C. Time. The fifth tone is another rising tone. It starts low, then rises to the middle of your range. C, C, city. Lastly, the sixth tone is low and steady, but not as low as the fourth tone. C, C, is. Do tones really matter? 
is not only important but crucial to master the different tones in Cantonese. Just like how mispronouncing a sound or misreading a character can have a huge impact on meaning. Using the wrong tone can drastically change the meaning of the word or sentences too. For example, ma in the first tone means mother, while ma in the fourth tone means linen, and ma in the fifth tone means horse. Don't get them mixed up. So how was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. See you next time! Hát chi kín Hi everybody, I'm Olivia. Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about 10 phrases you never want to hear. Let's start. <laughs> Have you gained weight lately? Have you gained weight recently? Gun is recently and fei is fat. Sorry, I forgot about it. That's never a good thing to have someone forget what they promised to do. Thank you for your resume. However, the position has been filled. That really sucks when you go to a job interview and then found out the position has been filled, right? Of the LDA, you king ha. We need to talk. That's never a good start when someone say that to you. I don't have your money today. I don't usually like to lend people money because that's what I hate to ask them back for their money. I don't want to borrow anyone's money. I don't have the money for you today. We should see other people. That's terrible. We never really say that. Pato is to date or like to see other people or to see someone, to date someone. It's not you, it's me. Mantai is problem. So it's literally, it's not yours, but it's my problem. The problem is on me. It's like, it's not your fault or it's not your it's not related to you, it's not your business. I told you so. Yeah, that's one of the most annoying things to hear someone say. You have a grey hair. I hate to find grey hair. You're fired. Literally, you don't have to come to work anymore, but in English, you just say you're fired. I hope you won't get fired. Work hard, be a good employee. And that's it for today. Today we talked about 10 phrases you never want to hear. I hope you've never heard of any of those. And I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. I'm Olivia, please subscribe. Tell us what kind of sentences you don't want to hear. See you next time. Bye! guys, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. In this video, we're going to talk about flavors. Meido flavors. Team is sweets. I like eating sweet food. Sun sour. Lemons are sour. Fu is bitter. I wouldn't eat bitter melon when I was younger. I like eating spicy food. So if you like eating spicy food, you can tell people that. Gip is like a tannic flavor. A spinach and uh, the tannin in tea and some red wine is gip. Mm, in a sentence, this wine is too tannic, which I don't like. So that's it for today. Today we talked about flavors made though. And I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. I'm Olivia. Bye! Did you take your free level assessment yet? Here's an extra bonus resource you'll get when you take the assessment.
When you receive your result and learning level, you also unlock a free language course for your specific level, so you can start learning and level up your language skills. Just click the link in the description to get access. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. My name is Olivia, and today we are going to talk about housework. Gamo, do you like doing housework? And which chore do you hate the most? Let's see if it's one of the following five. Here we go. So day to sweep. So is like to sweep something, and day is floor. So to sweep the floor. So day. Fati so day la ho da chan na. It's so dusty. Sweep the floor. I see a dust bunny. Next word is ma to wipe. So this is the cloth I used for wiping the dishes and table, and this is for wiping floor. Mat de bowl, and this is mat wen bowl. Mat is to wipe, de is floor, bowl is cloth. Mo lo le mat de bowl tong mat wen bowl. Do not mix up the cloth you used to wipe the floor and the cloth you used for wiping the table. <laughs> yeah. Don't. <laughs> Next word is sai to wash. Sai sao wash your hands. Sai mean wash your face. Sai won do the dishes. Sai they wash the floor. Sai uh, che wash the car. You can wash a lot of things. Actually, sai qin is my favorite because it means to spend money. Sai qin. I don't know why it's. Literally wash the money, but to spend money is sai qin. So you can sai sao, you can sai qin, you can sai mian, you can sai che. 一个礼拜洗三次衫 Do laundry three times a week. Next is 执房 to tidy up the room. 有朋友嚟，快啲执房啦 Friends are coming over. We have to tidy up the room. So if it was a bigger house, you can say "zhe o o" is house. So "zhe fang" to clean to tidy up the room, "zhe o" to clean and tidy up the whole house. Or you can also say "zhe zheng ge yan" or "zhe zheng zi ge." It means to tidy up yourself to make it presentable. For example, when you go to an interview, "ho yi min si" you "zhe zheng di." Tidy up, like clean up yourself. Before going to an interview, dump 垃圾 to take out the garbage to throw away the garbage. Ah, dump 垃圾 it kind of sounds like when a rock fall into the water. Dump. <laughs> I don't know. It's just、uh, the action of throwing things. Dump. 逢星期一、三、五要抌垃圾 We have to take out the garbage every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So here we skip 星期星期 mean week. 星期一 Monday， 星期三 Wednesday， 星期五 Friday。But in this case， it is understood that we're talking about the days of the week， so we can just say 逢 like every 逢 means every， so 逢一三五 every Monday， Wednesday and Friday。The end。That's it for today。Today we talked about housework。How do you like the words？ Which housework do you hate the most or you love the most？ Let us know in the comment section， please。If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, and check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word lists and many more. And I'll see you next time in other videos. My name is Olivia. Hatsikin. See you next time. In this video, you learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Cantonese. Hi, everybody. My name is Olivia. Welcome to the 800 core Cantonese words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Cantonese. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at CantoneseClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Cantonese. 
Okay, let's get started. First is Hong Jiu banana. Hong Jiu Hong Jiu banana. Hong Jiu hou yao yang yang. Banana is full of nutrition. Hong Jiu hou yao yang yang. Ping guo apple. Ping guo. Ping guo. Apple. I've baked an apple pie for you. No grape. The mouse is eating a grape. 只老鼠食緊提子。西瓜, watermelon. 西瓜, 西瓜, watermelon. 唔該,可唔可以幫我切西瓜? Would you please cut the watermelon for me? 唔該, bird bird three birds are flying mouse mouse Lo su mouse. Zet lo su sikan tai zi. The mouse is eating a grape. Zet lo su sikan tai zi. Tai yang sun. Tai yang. Tai yang sun. Tai yang yao dong bin sing hei. The sun rises in the east. Tai yang yao dong bin sing hei. Tin hei weather. Tin hei. Tin hei weather. Gum ho tin hei ba yu he ye chan. The weather is so great. Let's have a picnic. Gum ho. Tinhei no yan no yan no yan women go no yan do june seal the woman is smiling at you go no yan do june seal nam yan men nam yan nam yan Nam yan, man. Ni yun yi ling o sing wei sai gai sang joy hang fu ke nam yan ma. Will you make me the happiest man alive? Ni yun yi ling o sing wei sai gai sang joy hang fu ke nam yan ma. Nu pan yao, girlfriend. Nu pan yao. No pang yao girlfriend. Neo mo no pang yao. Do you have a girlfriend? Neo mo no pang yao. Nam pang yao. Boyfriend. Nam pang yao. Nam pang yao. Boyfriend. No nam pang yao. Hai lo si. My boyfriend is a teacher. No nam pan yao. Hai lo si. 
，火车 ，train， 火车，火车 ，train， 火车唔识飞 ，trains can't fly， 火车唔识飞，飞机 ，aeroplane。飞机，飞机，飞机 ，airplane。我而家坐紧飞机。I'm on an airplane right now。我而家坐紧飞机。巴士 ，bus， 巴士，巴士 ，bus。我可以搭巴士。I can take the bus。我可以搭巴士。的士 ，taxi。的士，的士 ，taxi。我半份人工都去咗的士费度。Half of my salary is spent on taxi fare。我半份人工都去咗的士费度。菠菜 （spinach）， 菠菜，菠菜 （spinach）， 菠菜含有丰富铁质同钙质。Spinach is a rich source of iron and calcium。菠菜含有丰富铁质同钙质，海豚 dolphin， 海豚，海豚 dolphin， 保护中华白海豚 ，protecting Chinese white dolphins， 保护中华白海豚，鱿鱼 squid， 鱿鱼。鱿鱼 squid， 我闻到好香嘅烧鱿鱼啊 ！I smell grilled squid. It smells really good. 我闻到好香嘅烧鱿鱼啊 ！Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at CantoneseClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily live conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Ciao, Gin. Hi, everybody. Olivia here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Cantonese questions. The question for this lesson is, "What is Yuping?" Yuping, Yuping, commonly known as Yuping, is the standard, most commonly used phonetic system for spelling Cantonese using Roman letters. It's a way to read and pronounce Cantonese words through English letters and tone numbers. For example. S I U three C O S C to laugh is the Yue Pin for this character. Even though most Hong Kong people can understand the Yue Pin or other romanization systems, they are not a substitute for the Chinese characters. Let's get into more details. How is a word built when written in Yue Pin? Cantonese sound can be broken down into syllables. These syllables can be a standalone word. Or they can be combined together to form compound words. Each syllable is made up of an initial sound, a final sound, and a tone. So, for learners who are not familiar with the Chinese characters, we transcribe the syllables into Romanized letters or Yuping. Here is an example of a syllable in Yuping: Sing, which means star, S I N G one. Here, the initial sound is s, and final sound is ing, ing, i n g, and the syllable is in the first tone. The tones in Yuping are represented by a number placed on the right side of the syllable. There are numbers from one to six. 
Now, how common is Yuping in Hong Kong? Basically, Yuping is the transliteration of Cantonese sound for Cantonese learners, which is related to the International Phonetic Alphabet System. For native speakers, however, this is unnecessary and never taught in school. So don't be surprised when a native speaker is not aware of or doesn't know what Yuping is. There are many cases of government transliterated Hong Kong street or district names that use an obscure and unstandardized system. For example, Sam Sui Bo, Sam Sui Bo is commonly known as the Sham Shui Po district, but the transliteration Sham Shui Po is not in line with the Yuping rules. You can listen to all the sounds of Cantonese and see their corresponding Yuping romanization at www.cantoneseclass101.com. Cantonese hyphen alphabet. There is a Yuping chart with audio to aid you in perfecting the pronunciation. How was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comment below, and I'll try to answer them. See you next time. Hatsikin. Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're going to talk about vegetables, vegetables, sao choy, vegetables, sao choy, yang chong, yang chong is onion, yang chong onion, um, yang chong chao dan, pan fried onions with egg, yang chong chao dan, sun tao, garlic, sun tao, I like eating garlic, no chong yi sek sun tao, sop mai, corn, sop mai, 今天的蔬麥好平 The corn is really cheap today 番薯 Sweet potato or yam 番薯 Yam or sweet potato 番薯 There is a very delicious Cantonese dessert It's kind of like a soup It's very healthy for your body and it's very delicious Try it if you have a chance Sweet potato with um, ginger 番薯糖水 蘑菇, mushroom, 蘑菇 我很喜欢吃蘑菇 I love eating mushrooms So that's it for today Today we talked about vegetables Which one is your favorite vegetables? So please leave us a comment and subscribe and check out the word list on cantoneseclass101.com See you next time! Have a nice day! Bye! Turn it off now! Bye! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Cantonese. Hi everybody, my name is Olivia. Welcome to the 800 core Cantonese words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Cantonese. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at CantoneseClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Cantonese. Okay, let's get started. First is Ho Yi Can. Ho Yi. Ho yi can. Ngo ho yi sek la. I can eat spicy food. Ngo ho yi sek la. Leng zero. Leng. Leng zero. Leng dim ng do. Zero point five degrees. Leng dim ng do. Yep. One, yet, yet, one, yet go yan, one person, yet go yan, ye, two, ye, ye, two, ye ho, ye ho, number two, ye ho, sam, three, sam, sam, three. 
三度 three degrees， 三度 say four， say say four， say got four corners， say got 五 five， 五五 five， 五度 five degrees。五度六 six 六六 six 六寸 six inches 六寸七 seven 七七 seven 七號 number seven 七號八 eight 八八 eight 八次 eight times 八次九 nine 九九 nine 九號 number nine 九號十 ten 十十 ten 十度 ten degrees， 十度。售货员 salesman， 售货员，售货员 salesman。汽车推销员 car salesman， 汽车推销员。经理 manager， 经理。经理 manager， 部门经理 department manager， 部门经理厨师 cook， 厨师厨师 cook， 佢系四星级酒店嘅厨师。She is a cook at a four-star restaurant, or she is a cook at a four-star hotel. 佢係四星級酒店嘅廚師。工程師 engineer. 工程師工程師 engineer. 土木工程師 civil engineer. 土木工程师、程式设计师、programmer、程式设计师、程式设计师、programmer、电脑程式设计师、computer programmer、电脑程式设计师、护士。Nurse, 护士，护士 ，nurse. 个女人系护士。The woman is a nurse. 个女人系护士。身体 ，body. 身体，身体 ，body. 身体结构 ，body structure. 身體結構，頭 head， 頭頭 head， 頭同頸 head and neck， 頭同頸。Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at CantoneseClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily live conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Jagin. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia, and today we are going to talk about. Top ten phrases to know when having a baby. Top ten phrases to know when having a baby. Shh, 
Baby Fan Gan Gao. Baby is sleeping. So let's start the list. Fan Gan Gao to take a nap. Fan Gan Gao to take a nap. Baby Fan Gan Gan Gao. Baby is taking a nap. Ngodo san Fan Gan Gao. I want to take a nap too. Baby sick bao. In a sentence, Baby sick bao zha wei fan gan gao. Baby takes a nap after a full meal. Gan means um, afternoon, so fan gao is to sleep. So an afternoon sleep, fan gan gao is a nap. Wei yan nai to breastfeed. Wei yan nai to breastfeed. Wei yan nai. In Hong Kong, breastfeeding is not that common. I guess one third or even at least less than a half of the moms would uh, do breastfeeding because they have to go back to work so soon after giving birth. In Hong Kong, uh, we only have 10 weeks of maternal leave, so that's very little. Usually people take two or four weeks before giving birth, before labor, and, um, and then six to eight weeks um, afterwards. And then they will have to go back to work. So the baby would have to be apart from the mom when they are two months old. That's pretty sad. Yeah, so most moms usually feed them formula or they pump. But still, it's more common for Hong Kong moms to feed the baby's formula. In a sentence, 很多妈咪认为为人奶对baby好的 Lots of mothers believe that breastfeeding is better for the baby. I think so too. Uh, it's the most natural for both the mother and the baby. Wun pin to change a diaper. Wun pin to change a diaper. Do we have a pin here? Pin, a diaper. Pin, wun is to change. So wun pin to change a diaper. Before taking the baby out, remember to change his diaper. Well, what's the point? You have to change his diaper two or three times while we're out anyways. <laughs> so yeah, every time you bring a baby out, you have to also bring a big backpack with uh, diapers, change of clothes, food, uh, wipes, um, a lot of stuff. So pin is diaper. One pin is to change the diaper. So my friend's baby, if you tell her to um, change diaper, she'll go grab the pin, the diaper, and walk to where the changing diaper, the changing station is. <laughs> That's very cute. 戴口水巾 to put on a beep. 戴口水巾 to put on a beep. 戴口水巾, so when baby eat, they have to put on a beep. Maybe I should too. I'm kind of clumsy when I eat. <laughs> so in a sentence, Remember to put on a beep when you feed the baby. Put the beep on the baby or on me? It just splashed everywhere anyways. Haosui <laughs> literally means saliva. Gin is um, shoulder. So somehow saliva shoulder become a beep. <laughs> or a cloth that is for the saliva. So haosui gin. Haosui gin. Haosui saliva. And how so again a beep. Wun sam to change clothes. Wun sam to change clothes. Wun is to change. Sam is clothes. So maybe you have to change clothes so often because they get messy. <laughs> so in a sentence, 你等多阵啦,佢同baby换紧衫. Would you wait for a little while? She's changing the clothes for the baby. She's always changing clothes for the baby because the baby keep puking or pooping. I don't know. <laughs> Baby sing at you one Sam. Baby have to change a lot. So you have to do laundry like almost every day. Whoops. <laughs> so for one Sam, not only babies can use that, uh, adults can use it too. Not only one Sam, I'll go change. So one Sam, you can use it for any person. Chang Chui Min Kok to sing a lullaby. Chang Chui Min Kok to sing a lullaby. Chui min, kok. Chui min is hypnotized. Kok is song. So a hypnotized song is a lullaby. <laughs> Songs that tells kids to go to bed so the parents can relax. In a sentence, Mother always sang a lullaby to put me to sleep when, when I was small. 
Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Um, what else? Silbo Bo, Fatty Fun Cow, Go to bed soon, Fall asleep soon. My baby 安全座椅 to buy a car seat. My baby 安全座椅 to buy a car seat. My baby 安全座椅 to buy a car seat. 为咗 baby 嘅安全，一定要买 baby 安全座椅。For the safety of the baby, buying a car seat for the baby is a must. So、uh, it's even、uh, illegal to put the baby in the car without a car seat. Sometimes we just say car seats because it's easier than baby 安全座椅 Baby 安全座椅 That's like six words. And、um, yeah, car seat. It makes it, it's easier. But yeah, so 安全 means safety. So baby safety seat. A car seat. Why to feed? Why to feed? Why, why, why? Nay, sick fan to feed you, um, me a meal to feed you a meal. Why nay, sick fan? Yeah, as I mentioned before, it's not really up to the mother to breastfeed every day, every time the baby wants milk because they have to go back to work so soon after labor. Why a night, uh, to feed like breastfeed. Why baby said yeah to feed baby a meal. Now why they said yeah I'll feed you. Why to feed? Tie baby to to push a stroller. Tie baby to to push a stroller. So baby to literally a baby car. So car for the baby is a stroller. It's much easier. 我会避免喺繁忙时间推 BB 车搭地铁。I would avoid pushing a stroller in the subway during the rush hour. Of course, I would just avoid rush hour, especially if I'm with a baby. That's like no way. There's no place for a baby. So subway during rush hour is crazy in Hong Kong, and I don't want to be there. So why would I bring my baby there? Because <laughs> the good thing is in Hong Kong, all the subway stations they have Elevator and a lift. So if you have a stroller, use the lift. That's elevator. Lift is British. Elevator in American English, right? 冲凉 to bathe. 冲凉 to bathe to take a bath or to take shower. So 冲凉 It doesn't have to be for babies. Everybody, like adults, me, ah,、uh, baby, we can all 冲凉 In a sentence. 同 B B 沖完涼，記得同佢擦翻啲潤膚膏。After bathing the baby, remember to put the lotion on him so their skin don't get dry out. So a bathtub is 沖涼缸，喺沖涼缸同 B B 沖涼。Take a bath for the baby in the bathtub. 喺沖涼缸同 B B 沖涼。Take a bath for the baby in the bathtub. So that's it for today. Today we talk about top ten phrases to know when you're having a baby. If you're having a baby with、um, Cantonese speaking spouse, a partner, congratulations! You'll get to learn more terms and phrases about、um, taking care of a baby because most likely your in-laws will come over to help, and you have to talk a lot of、uh, Cantonese with your in-law. Good luck, and feel free to let us know if you have any questions.、Um, leave them in the comment section. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And、uh, check out CantoneseClass101.com for more Cantonese fun stuff. My name is Olivia, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Super Bowl, Fatty Fun Cow, go to bed, go to sleep, go to sleep. Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today、uh, we are in Hong Kong, and I am Olivia. We are going to talk about、um, months of the year. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. It's January. My birthday is in January. 我生日系喺一月。四月 is April. April Fools. 四月一号系愚人节。April Fools is on the first of April. 六月 is、uh, June. 有啲學校六月開始放暑假
some schools uh, start summer vacations in June. So, it's uh, October. My mom's birthday is in October. Subyu is November. There's no public holiday in November except Sundays, but still sad. You can see in Cantonese the months are really easy to say because you just count the numbers like one, two, three, four, five. One month, yeah, it is January. Two months, like second month is uh, February, and so on. So twelfth month is December. So you. So I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia, and see you next time. Hachiki. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Cantonese listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? There 请看看报告里面 就看到四月和八月的推广活动很成功。我明白,但是推广活动之后,五月和九月的销售跌了。是的,但是这种反弹是无可避免的,我预计只要销量继续升,今年的销量就会高过上年。他讲解时,用紧边两个图表呢? 有一个男人在会议上讲解他公司的销售业绩。他讲解时用紧边两个图表呢？请睇下报告入面，左边嘅图表系我哋公司过去三年嘅销售额同埋本年度嘅销售预测，而右边嘅图表就系直至今年十月
，佢有齐我哋要嘅嘢，系咪？而且个衣柜都几大、哦，我哋就去睇呢间啦。好啊，佢哋会去睇边间房呢？一对夫妇喺度睇紧啲陶质，佢哋会去睇边间房呢？呢间点啊？有个几好嘅大客厅。嗯，我中意大客厅，但系我想有车位。咁啊，呢、这个呢？系、哦、呢、这个几好、哦，不如去睇下呢间啦。等等，个衣柜好似细咗啲、哦。系、哦，好似冇一个合乎完美。咦？呢、这个呢，佢有齐我哋要嘅嘢，系咪？而且个衣柜都几大、哦，我哋就去睇呢间啦。好啊。Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we are going to talk about ten phases for surviving back to school. Are you excited for school? I know I am. Here we go. Bui long backpack. Bui long backpack. Bui long backpack. 我今日冇带背囊 I did not bring my backpack today. In、uh, another sentence, 啲学生孭住好重嘅背囊翻学 Students carry very heavy backpack to go to school. In Hong Kong, we don't have a locker, so we just bring everything with us every day. All the textbooks and stationery and notebooks and whatnot. So it's always very heavy. Not very good for our backs. <laughs> 同学 classmate. 同学 classmate. 我会约埋同学一齐温书 I will ask my classmates to study together. 同学，同 means like together. 学 is、uh, to learn. So someone we learn things together are classmates. Do you usually study with your classmates? I usually study by myself because if I'm with my classmate, we just monkey around. We just play. We hardly would ever study. 功课 homework. 功课 homework. 点解啲功课做极都做唔完？ Why do I never finish the homework, no matter how hard I try? In some schools in Hong Kong, it's、uh, famous for having a lot of homework. It's pretty tough for the kids because they don't even have enough time to sleep, so they're always tired. I'm glad I did not go to those schools. How see exam? How see exam? How see exam? 我最惊系考试肥佬。The thing I'm worried the most is to fail an exam. So failo is the transliteration of fail, fail, failo, 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 failo. It also means a fat guy, failo. So a fat guy and failing is the same term. <laughs> no offense, but、um, it's a very slang term. So you don't really use it in writing. You should use it when you talk. So. 考試肥佬 to fail on an exam. 我最驚，我最驚 my I'm most scary of my most、uh, terrified things is 考試肥佬 to fail in an exam. 暑假 summer break. 暑假 summer holiday or summer break. 好多學生都喺暑假做兼職 Many students work a part-time job during the summer holiday. 喺暑假做兼職 ，we also call it 暑期工。暑期 is like during the summertime， and 工 means work， so the work you do during summertime is 暑期工。讀書 to study。讀書 to study。讀 literally means read to read， so 讀書書 is book， so to read a book， you can also say I'm reading a book， 我喺度讀書 ，or I'm studying. 我喺度读书 So they're the same words. 读书我会俾心机读书，唔会令父母失望 I will study very hard so as not to let my parents down. 唔会令父母失望 Not to let my parents down. Not to let them disappoint. 
俾心機讀書 ，to study very hard to try my best。今日係新學期嘅第一日 ，it's the first day of class。今日係新學期嘅第一日 ，today is the first day of class。So 學期 means semester。In this case, it's the first day of class or first day of semester. So today, 今日係新學期嘅第一日 It's the first day of the new semester. So today is the first day of school. Yay! You get to meet all your new、uh, classmates and teachers. So excited! 我哋喺同一班 We are in the same class. 我哋喺同一班 We are in the same class. It's always happy to have someone you know in the same class, so you can study together or you can、um, hang out a lot. 你想边啲堂 ？What classes are you taking？ 你想边啲堂 ？What classes are you taking？ So in Hong Kong, it's not very common to use this phrase because、um, everybody just sit in the same classroom and you wait for the teacher to come and teach you different classes. So basically, you guys all have the same class. But if、uh, for someone that is not in the same class, you can ask them, 你想边啲堂 Because they might have a different class than you. Especially when、um, after Form Three, like Grade Nine, usually students are split into science or literature, 文科 literature, 理科 science. So you can also ask, 你读文科定理科 Are you studying literature or science? Which faculty are you in? 你做晒功课未 ？Did you finish your homework? 你做晒功课未 ？Did you finish your homework? Yes, I did. We can go play. 我做晒功课啦，可以去玩。做晒功课 is、um, to have completed, to have done the homework. So 你做晒功课未 ？Have you finished your homework? 我做晒功课啦。I finished my homework. Let's go play. So that's it for today. Today we learned about. Ten phrases for surviving back to school. I hope you will enjoy your new semester, and I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. See you next time. Bye. Yay! Let's go play. Hello, I'm Olivia. Welcome to 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 Olivia. Welcome 我会喺呢段影片嘅最后公布答案。传统有冬大过年嘅讲法，即系冬至比新年更加重要。咁系因为中国古代系农耕社会，需要符合天时嚟耕种农作物。于是当时系中国人凭经验观察天文同埋自然规律，发现冬至系一年之中白昼最短嘅一日。通常过咗呢一日咧，白昼就会逐渐增长，开始冬去春回。就系、是、咁，万象更新，其实唔系由年初一开始，而系冬至。喺冬至呢一晚，大家都会一家团聚食饭，叫做做冬，同亲友好好食一餐丰富嘅晚饭，再食汤圆应节，共聚天伦，就系、是、开始新一年嘅最佳方法。由现代西方天文学嘅知识嚟讲，古代中国人对于冬至嘅想法，竟然系合乎科学逻辑。喺呢一日，太阳几乎直射南回归线。导致北半球嘅白昼全年最短。你知唔知点解食汤圆系冬至嘅传统习俗？汤圆系一种用糯米粉做成嘅圆形甜品，象征团圆。喺某啲地区喺冬至食过汤圆就象征年长一岁。汤圆有好多唔同嘅馅，最普遍嘅系黑芝麻同埋花生，仲有充满上海特色嘅桂花酒酿丸子，谂起都想食啊！喺冬至当日，大部分公司都会批准员工早一两个钟落班，等佢哋早啲翻屋企共聚天伦
，好好喺年中食一餐丰富嘅晚餐。而家就嚟揭晓问题嘅答案。你估下喺边一个地区冬至系公众假期？其实冬至喺香港系冇被列为公众假期嘅，冇藉口放假，所以细路仔甚至部分大人都唔系好重视冬至嘅。而同香港只不过一海之隔嘅澳门，就系、是、华人社会中唯一将冬至列为公众假期嘅地方啦。你觉得呢一集点呢？有冇学到啲有趣嘅知识？喺你嘅国家有冇一个庆祝冬至嘅节日呢？喺 Cantonese Class 101 dot com 留言同我哋分享啦！下次见。So the first word is 糖 candy. 糖小朋友食完糖記得刷牙 Kids remember to brush your teeth after eating candies. Well, for adults too. 汽水 soda or pop. 汽 is carbonated and 水 is water. So carbonated water is actually soda or pop. 你最中意飲邊只汽水 Which kind of soda do you like the most? When I was a kid, I used to drink cream soda mixed with milk, but I won't drink that anymore. 公仔面 instant noodles. 我大学嗰阵成日食公仔面。我大学嗰阵成日食公仔面。When I was in university, I often eat instant noodles. Don't tell my mom. 能量饮品 energy drink. 呢啲能量饮品究竟有冇用噶 ？Are these energy drink? Really helpful? Like, does it really wake you up? Let us know. 薯片 potato chips or crisps. 而家都出咗啲健康嘅薯片 There are some healthy chips on the market now. I don't know how much more healthy they are compared to normal potato chips. Which kind of potato chips do you like the most? 植物牛油 margarine. 植物 is plant. 牛油 is butter. Butter made with plants. Is margarine? 植物牛油始終唔同真嘅牛油。Margarine is really not the same as real butter. Which one do you prefer? 加工肉 processed meat. 加工 is processed and 肉 is meat. 加工肉 processed meat. 你真係要食少啲加工肉啦。You better eat less processed meat. Recently, processed meat has been classified. As a definite cause for cancer by the World Health Organization, any kind of processed meat like ham, sausage, bacon, spam, salami, all kinds of meat that were preserved in salt or other chemicals are bad. I know you love those, but try to eat less. Yin yo, bacon. Yin is smoke. Yo. Is meat so smoked meat somehow become bacon? 我知你好中意食煙肉，但係食少啲啦。I know you love to eat bacon, but you better have less. 急凍食品 frozen meals. 啊，我個雪，我個冰格有好多急凍食品。I have a lot of frozen meals in my freezer. 冰格 is freezer. Yeah, I should cut down. 微波爐泡谷 ，microwave popcorn。我好少喺屋企食微波爐泡谷。I don't usually eat microwave popcorn at home. So that's it for today. Today we talked about the top ten foods that will kill you faster. Stay away from them unless you want to die faster. I hope you don't. Leave us a comment if you can think of any other food that might kill you faster, or give us some healthy tips. Check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list and subscribe to get more Cantonese videos. I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Bye. Hello. Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia. And we will talk about fruits this week. So this week's topic is fruits. Let's see what our first word is. Hangzhou. Hangzhou is a banana. Banana. Hangzhou in a sentence. 
Hangzhou is full of nutrition. Banana is full of nutrition. Sai Gua is watermelon. Watermelon, um, but literally is west melon. Sai means west. I bought a really big watermelon yesterday. It was really heavy. Yeah, I bought a really big watermelon yesterday. It's really heavy. Strawberry. Strawberry is strawberry. Strawberry like strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberry is my favorite fruit. Strawberry is my favorite fruit. Bolo. Bolo is pineapple. Bolo. It sounds funny. 我唔識點樣開個菠蘿，我唔識點樣切一個菠蘿。I don't know how to cut a pineapple open, and I never tried it. 芒果，芒果 is mango. Mango. I just had mango yesterday. 我琴日啱啱食完芒果，幾好味啊 ！It's pretty good. That's it for today. Today we talked about fruits, and I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia. Bye. How are your Cantonese listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? 一个男人打紧电话去医生嘅事务所，佢最迟几点要去到医生嘅事务所？你好，有乜嘢帮到你？你哋今日几点闩啊？我哋闩六点，不过你五点半前好嚟啦。好啊，唔该。佢最迟几点要去到医生嘅事务所？一个男人打紧电话去医生嘅事务所。佢最迟几点要去到医生嘅事务所？你好，有乜嘢帮到你？你哋今日几点闩啊？我哋闩六点，不过你五点半前好嚟啦。好啊，唔该。Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia, and today's topic is color. Let's see what the first word is. 红色，红色 is red, and that's what I'm wearing today. 今日我着红色衫。Today I wear a red shirt. 蓝色，蓝色 is blue. 天空系蓝色嘅。The sky is blue. 绿色。绿色 is green. 我有一个绿色袋。I have a green bag. 黄色，黄色 is yellow. In a sentence, 我有一架黄色车。我有一架黄色车。I have a yellow car. It's not true. <laughs> 黑色，黑色 is black. 我头发系黑色嘅。My hair is black. That's it for today. Today we talked about color. And I'll see you next time at Canton's Weekly Words. Bye. Hi everyone. I'm Gabriella. How are your Cantonese listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? 一个男人喺珠宝店拣紧生日礼物俾佢老婆，佢拣咗边条颈链呢？有乜嘢帮到你？我揾紧生日礼物俾我老婆，你有冇好介绍？呢条颈链你觉得点？好似太长、哦。咁呢啲呢，有花形吊嘴，仲有心形。我想要成熟啲嘅款
。呢条珍珠颈链几多钱啊？四万蚊。贵咗啲、哦，咁我要你最先讲嗰条啦。好啊，嗱，佢拣咗边条颈链呢？一个男人喺珠宝店拣紧生日礼物俾佢老婆，佢拣咗边条颈链呢？有乜嘢帮到你？我揾紧生日礼物俾我老婆，你有冇好介绍？呢条颈链你觉得点？好似太长、哦。咁呢啲呢？有花型吊嘴，仲有心形。我想要成熟啲嘅款。呢条珍珠颈链几多钱啊？四万蚊，贵咗啲喎。咁我要你最先讲嗰条啦。好啊，嗱。Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're going to talk about vegetables, vegetables, saw choy, vegetables, saw choy. Yang chong, yang chong is onion, yang chong onion, um, yang chong chao dan, pan fried onions with egg, yang chong chao dan, sun tau, garlic, sun tau. I like eating garlic, no chong yi sek sun tau. Sok mai, corn, sok mai. Gamma di sok mai ho pang. Corn is really cheap today. Fan su, sweet potato or yam. Fan su, yam or sweet potato. Fan su. There's a very delicious Cantonese dessert. It's kind of like a soup. It's very healthy for your body and it's very delicious. Try it if you have a chance. Sweet potato with、um, ginger. Fan su tang su. Mo gu mushroom. Mo gu. I really like eating mushrooms. I love eating mushrooms. So that's it for today. Today we talked about vegetables. Which one is your favorite vegetables? So please leave us a comment and subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. See you next time. Have a nice day. Bye. Turn it off now. Bye. In this video, you learn twenty of the most common words and phrases in Cantonese. Hi, everybody. My name is Olivia. Welcome to the 800 Cantonese words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Cantonese. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases. Stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at CantoneseClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Cantonese. Okay, let's get started. First is cow, dog, cow, cow. Dog. 口渴嘅狗喺度饮泳池嘅水。The thirsty dog is drinking from the pool. 口渴嘅狗喺度饮泳池嘅水。猫 cat. 猫猫 cat. 呢只猫系黑色嘅。This cat is black. 呢只猫系黑色嘅。仓鼠 ，hamster。仓鼠，仓鼠 ，hamster。仓鼠中意喺日头瞓觉。Hamsters like to sleep during the day。仓鼠中意喺日头瞓觉。暖 ，warm。暖暖 warm 
你隻手凍冰冰，我幫你暖下佢啦。Your hand is so cold. I'll warm it up for you. 你隻手凍冰冰，我幫你暖下佢啦。落雨 ，rain， 落雨，落雨 ，rain。條街落緊雨。The rain is falling on the street. 条街落紧雨。番茄 tomato。番茄番茄 tomato。超级市场啲番茄好平。The tomatoes are very cheap at the supermarket. 超级市场。啲番茄好平，士多啤梨 （strawberry）， 士多啤梨，士多啤梨 （strawberry）。啲人喺度拎士多啤梨 ，the people are taking the strawberries。啲人喺度拎士多啤梨。车厘子 ，cherry， 车厘子，车厘子 ，cherry。我想食车厘子 ，I want to eat cherries。我想食车厘子。细路 ，child， 细路，细路。Child 个细路好期待嚟紧嘅迪士尼之旅。The child was looking forward to his upcoming trip to Disneyland。个细路好期待嚟紧嘅迪士尼之旅。朋友 ，friend， 朋友。朋友 ，friend， 佢系我朋友。He is my friend。佢系我朋友。成人 ，adult。成人，成人，成人 ，adult。成人票通常都要用原价。Adult tickets are usually the original price. 成人票通常都要用原价。单车 bicycle， 单车，单车 bicycle。你想踩单车定行路去多啲 ？Do you prefer to go by bicycle or on foot? 你想踩单车定行路去多啲？车 car， 车车 car。你后面有车 ，there is a car behind you。你后面有车，电单车 motorcycle， 电单车。电单车 motorcycle， 佢有一架电单车。He has a motorcycle。佢有一架电单车。绵羊仔 scooter， 绵羊仔，绵羊仔。Scooter， 个女人揸紧黄色绵羊仔。The woman is riding a yellow scooter。个女人揸紧黄色绵羊仔。船 ，boat， 船，船 ，boat， 香蕉船。Banana boat riding. 
香蕉船，水母 jellyfish， 水母，水母 jellyfish。小心啲啊！呢度有好多水母。Be careful. There are many jellyfish here. 小心啲啊！呢度有好多水母，龙虾 （lobster）， 龙虾，龙虾 （lobster）， 龙虾喺石头上面。The lobster is on the rock。龙虾喺石头上面，喺。Crab, hi, hi, crab, hi, 打横行 Crabs walk sideways. Hi, 打横行海龟 turtle, or sea turtle, 海龟海龟 turtle, or sea turtle. 海龟喺海里面游。The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. 海龟喺海里面游。Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at CantoneseClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time, Jagin. Hello, welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's weekly words. Today we are going to talk about the weather. 天气 weather. 落雨 rainy. 今日落雨好麻烦。今日落雨好麻烦。It's raining today and it's very annoying. 晴天，晴天 is sunny。我中意晴天。I like it when it's sunny。颱風 ，typhoon or hurricane。In Asia, we have a lot of typhoons in summer, especially in July or August。今年有十五個颱風嚟咗香港。Fifteen typhoons came to Hong Kong this year。Well, I made it up. I hope that's not true. That's a bit too much。閃電，閃電 is、uh, lightning。Steam is like flash, and steam is electricity. So lightning in a sentence. 我只狗好惊闪电。My dog is afraid of the lightning. 彩虹 is rainbow. Rainbow has seven colors. 彩虹有七只颜色。Can you name them all in Cantonese? 红、橙、黄、绿、青、蓝、紫。Seven colors. That's it for today. Today we talked about weather, Tin Hei in Cantonese. And I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. This is Hong Kong. Check out CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time. Hello, I'm Olivia. Welcome to the Hong Kong Festival. Today, we will introduce the Hong Kong Festival. I believe that everyone is very familiar with the Hong Kong Festival. It is on the 12th of December. Now, let's look at how people celebrate the Hong Kong Festival. Hi, Hong Kong. 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 香港嘅聖誕氣氛唔錯噶，男女老幼都會為形形色色嘅派對約會忙到不得了。當然喺 party 度一定會交換禮物啦，所以大家會出街 shopping。而市面上所有嘅店鋪都會大減價，滿足大家嘅購物慾。等我話你知係香港聖誕節前後最熱鬧同埋裝飾得最美輪美換嘅地方啦，係尖沙咀嘅海港城商場一八八一同埋半島酒店，仲有銅鑼灣嘅時代廣場。中環嘅皇后像廣場，同埋大嶼山嘅迪士尼樂園
喺維多利亞海港兩邊嘅建築物同埋大廈咧，亦都掛滿燈飾，所以無論係香港人或者遊客，都會坐天星小輪觀賞海港兩邊嘅夜景嘅。喺香港嘅聖誕同埋外國嘅最唔同，大概就係聖誕大餐啦。外國通常係一家人喺屋企食，但係喺香港咧，普遍都係喺餐廳同埋酒店食，或者叫到會嘅。每一間餐廳同埋酒店都會推出充滿聖誕特色嘅套餐同埋自助餐服務，唔一早訂位，嗰晚就好難揾位噶啦。因为香港从来都唔会落雪，所以某啲商场咧会做啲假嘅飘雪、假嘅雪人同埋冰面嚟吸引客人。亦都因为天气太热咧，香港系冇室外溜冰场嘅，但系咧就有好几个室内溜冰场啦。而家就嚟揭晓问题嘅答案。你估下喺香港嘅酒店食一餐圣诞大餐要几多少钱呢？喺香港嘅酒店食一餐圣诞大餐平均消费系每人港币六百五十蚊。即係大概美金八十五蚊，比起你嘅國家算係貴定平呢？你覺得呢一集點呢？有冇學到啲有趣嘅知識？喺你嘅國家係點樣慶祝聖誕節嘅呢？喺 Cantonese Class One o n e c o m 留言同我哋分享啦！下次見。Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we are going to talk about top 10 phrases that make you look like a fool. These are the phrases that you need to know if you want to sound like a fool. <laughs> so pay attention, don't say any of these. I know everything. I know everything. Nobody really knows everything, right? And uh, anyone you meet, they know something that you don't, so respect. 我叫你就做啦 ，just do what I say。我叫你就做啦 ，literally I call then you do it or I say it then you do it。so just do what I say。我叫你就做啦，系嘅系嘅，老板。if I'm the boss I'm just gonna tell、uh, the staff。我叫你就做啦 ，just do what I say。yes yes you're the boss。你永远都唔会成功 ，you never succeed。that's so sad。Why would you say that? Don't say that to anyone. Don't say that to yourself. Don't say that to your friends or family. Don't say that to anyone. I'm right and you're wrong. I'm right is correct. is wrong. So I'm right and you're wrong. Correct them nicely if they said something wrong. But don't say I'm right. That's too blunt. We can't do that. 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 We can't do Life is about always learning. You're always asking questions, always learning new stuff. So embrace the new knowledge and be happy. Name go sing. You're not very smart. Name go sing. Literally, you're not smart enough. Studies say that people who are not smart tend to think that they are smarter than other people. If you say that, that means you're not very smart. Thailand, a C don't I C. It's too hard. Don't even try. If someone wants to learn French and you tell them Thai language, see them, I see you don't even need to try it. Then that's sad because French is a very nice language, even though it's difficult. No, I'm so you need your opinion. I don't need your advice. No, I'm so you need your opinion. So you is to need necessary. No, I'm so you is I don't need. Your opinion, your advice. Opinion is advice or suggestions or idea. I don't need your advice. That's usually what teenagers say, right? They always say, "I don't need your advice," and then they end up doing the same thing as their parents. I'm not ready to learn Cantonese. I'm not ready to learn Cantonese. That's silly. You don't really need to be ready. You just take faith and take a leap. And we'll help you to learn Cantonese, so don't worry. <laughs> so that's it for today. Today we talk about 
top 10 phrases that make you look like a fool, please don't say any of those. If you can think of any more, leave us a comment and please subscribe. Check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list and other Cantonese videos. I'm Olivia. See you next time. Bye. Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. I'm Olivia. Today we're going to talk about must know expressions for agreeing and disagreeing. Here we go. I couldn't agree with you more. I couldn't agree with you more. I very much agree. So I agree with you a lot. Like I agree with you very much. I couldn't agree with you more. Well, I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure. 肯定 is sure, 肯定 is not sure. So, I'm not sure. 我都不肯定. 当然, of course. 当然, of course. Or a more casual way would be 梗是啦, for sure. 我想是这样, I guess so. 我想是这样, I guess so. 我想 is I think, 是这样 as is. So I think so, I think that is the case. 我正想说, I was just going to say that. 我正想说, I was just going to say that. 正想 is about to, I was going to. So 讲 is to say, to speak. 是啊,你讲得啱. Yes, you're right. 是啊。你讲得啱, ngam is correct or right, so 是啊,你讲得啱, yes, you're right. 你错了, you're wrong. 你错了, you're wrong. 错 is wrong or mistake, so 你错了, you're wrong. 我想不是, I don't think so. 我想不是, I don't think so. 我想 is I think, 不是 is to be not, so I think it's not the case. I don't think so. 可能啦, maybe. 可能啦, maybe. 可能 is probably or maybe. So, 可能啦, maybe. 我不同意,不得. I don't agree, no. 我不同意,不得. I don't agree, no. 同意 is agree, 不同意 is not agree. So, 不得 is like, no, that's not possible. That's not doable. So that's it for today. Today we talked about must know expressions for agreeing and disagreeing. Do you have any more? Please leave us a comment. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. I'm Olivia. See you next time. Bye. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Cantonese. Hi everybody, my name is Olivia. Welcome to the 800 core Cantonese words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Cantonese. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at CantoneseClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Cantonese. Okay, let's get started. First is Hoi some happy. Hoi some Hoi some happy. Ngo ho hoi some hoi yi hai ni do. I'm happy to be here. Ngo ho hoi some hoi yi hai ni do. Sang some sad. Sang some sang some sad. Go nam zai ho sang some. The boy felt sad. 
好傷心。No angry. No. No angry. 如果你呃我，你会激嬲我。If you cheat me, you anger me. 如果你呃我，你会激嬲我。服装 clothing， 服装，服装 clothing。呢層全部都係賣男士服裝。This floor is all selling men's clothing。呢層全部都係賣男士服裝。鞋 shoe 鞋鞋 shoe。我揾緊鞋。I'm looking for some shoes。我揾緊鞋，襪 sock， 襪襪 sock， 一對襪 pair of socks， 一對襪，內衣 underwear， 內衣內衣 underwear， 我啲襪同內衣。喺我個衫櫃最上面個櫃桶。My socks and underwear are in the top drawer of my dresser。我啲襪同內衣喺我個衫櫃最上面個櫃桶。講 talk， 講講 talk。我唔想同你讲嘢。I don't want to talk to you。我唔想同你讲嘢。俾 give， 俾俾 give。可唔可以俾个折头我啊 ？Could you give me a discount？ 可唔可以？俾個折頭我啊！低 low， 低低 low， 人工太低 ，the rate is too low。人工太低，高 high， 高高 high， 你人工幾高？ How high is your salary? 你人工几高？水果 fruit， 水果，水果 fruit。街市有好多种水果。They have many kinds of fruit in the market. 街市有好多种。水果，八爪鱼 （octopus）， 八爪鱼，八爪鱼 （octopus）， 八爪鱼喺大海里面游。The octopus is swimming in the ocean。八爪鱼喺大海里面游。鲨鱼。Shark， 鲨鱼，鲨鱼 ，shark。今年鲨鱼周开始得早咗。This year Shark Week starts earlier。今年鲨鱼周开始得早咗。鲸鱼 ，whale。鯨魚，鯨魚 ，whale。鯨魚上水呼吸。The whales are coming up for air。鯨魚上水呼吸。多雲 ，cloudy。多雲，多雲 ，cloudy。
听日嘅天气预报系朝早多云，下午天晴。The weather forecast for tomorrow is cloudy in the morning but sunny in the afternoon. 听日嘅天气预报系朝早多云，下午天晴，凉 ，cool， 凉，凉。Cool. 日头好热，但夜晚好凉。It's hot during the day, but cool at night. 日头好热，但夜晚好凉。青瓜 ，cucumber. 青瓜，青瓜 ，cucumber. 青瓜含有维他命 C. Cucumbers contain vitamin C. 青瓜含有维他命 C. 灯笼椒 bell peppers. 灯笼椒灯笼椒 bell peppers. 最普遍嘅灯笼椒系青椒、红椒或黄椒。The most common bell peppers are green, red, or yellow. 最普遍嘅灯笼椒系青椒、红椒或黄椒。西兰花 broccoli， 西兰花，西兰花 broccoli。唔该，要个蒜蓉炒西兰花。I'll like a dish of stir-fried broccoli with garlic, please. 唔该，要个蒜蓉炒西兰花。Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at CantoneseClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily live conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Ciao, Kim. Hi, guys. Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're in Olivia's kitchen because we're going to talk about cooking. Juban, cooking. Let's start with the first cooking word, ju, to cook or to make a meal. Um, ju ban, literally to cook rice. It actually also means to prepare a meal. So in a sentence, wow, five o'clock. I have to go home and make dinner. Oh, it's already five o'clock. I have to go home and make dinner or prepare a meal. Notice that in the characters, it's not written in the same order. It's 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 written in the same order. But we don't say we cook a sandwich or salad, right? Chit to, to cut, chit. 用刀切菜 cut vegetables with the knife. 我切亲只手指 I cut my finger yesterday. <laughs> Next word is 煎 pan fry or saute. 煎蛋 sunny side up. So for scramble egg, you you use 炒蛋 because it you keep stirring. And for 煎蛋 sunny side up. You kind of leave it in the pan for a while before you flip it or do anything with it. Xin yu, fried fish. You also leave it on the pan for a while before you flip it or do anything with it, right? Xin yu, you hot chow hei xin. Turn on the range hood when you are pan frying fish. It smells, it, or else the whole room will smell. Next word is, zha deep fry zha. 炸嘢食嘅時候，千祈唔好有水分。When you're deep frying food, don't let it have any water on it, or else it will splash everywhere. Zing, zing is to steam. Zing, Cantonese cuisine has a lot of steam dishes, starting from appetizer, the entree, the dessert.、Uh, we steam everything. Zing yu, steam fish. Zing yu bang, steam meat patty. Zing lian go, steam rice cake. In a sentence, 我好挂住公公整嘅蒸鱼。I miss the steamed fish that my grandpa used to make. 蒸鱼 steamed fish. 
So that's it for today. Today we talked about cooking. Ju Fan, do you cook? What kind of cooking method do you usually use? Let us know in the comment section. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. I'm Olivia and I'll see you in other Cantonese videos. Bye bye. Hatsuki. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're going to talk about your face, mean or lean face. Now I mean whole what? My face is very smooth. The skin on my face is very smooth. Nan, nan, eyes. Nan, eyes. Nan, no, the nan, whole side. My eyes are very small. I can make it bigger, like this. Scary. Yi zai or yi. Ears. Uh, earrings are called yi wan, like ear and ring. Wan, ear and ring, earrings. Fun fact in Cantonese, da yi long, literally big ear hole, means long shark. I don't know why. I don't know why. Zhui or hao, mouth. Hao is like the whole area, the 3D area, while zhui is mostly referring to the facial appearance. Her mouth is very pretty, so it's the appearance. He has bad breath. It's the whole area, so we use the whole area. Gang, gang, this is gang. In Cantonese, giraffes are gang lo, literally long neck deer. So a deer with very long neck is giraffe, chan gang lo. Sometimes, if you want to say that you've been waiting for someone or something for a long time, you can say that I've been waiting for so long that my neck grow long. I've been waiting for you for so long that my neck grow longer. Tongue, lay, something that's very delicious, and then you can say lam lam lay. The food at this restaurant is very delicious. Literally, we are licking our lips because it's so delicious. So that's it for today. Today we talk about your face. Is there any other parts that you want to know the Cantonese names for? Let us know in the comments. Meanwhile, please check CantoneseClass101.com for the word lists and other Cantonese videos. See ya! Bye! Welcome to Introduction to Cantonese. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by... Hi everyone, I'm Jun Ho. In this series, you learn everything you need to know to get started learning Cantonese. That's right, and we're here to help guide you through your journey. In this lesson, you'll learn the reasons why you should learn Cantonese and how to get started. Let's begin with the most obvious question. Why learn Cantonese? There are countless reasons, but perhaps the biggest one of all is that it could actually change your life. Learning a new language unlocks new pathways that used to be off limits to you. There are certain things that you simply cannot do without having the technical or cultural skills that come from learning a new language. Like working or living in another country. Knowing Cantonese provides you with greater job opportunities. You have the freedom to move to Hong Kong or Macau. You'll be able to earn a living, or even better yet, build a career from it, instead of just being stuck in one place. Language allows you to visit or live in places that you may never have even considered going. Knowing another language simply gives you more options to choose from. And learning a new language also helps you to be more open-minded and see the world from a new perspective. Language and culture go hand in hand. The world is a big place. 
By broadening your understanding of other cultures, it allows you to be more empathetic and understanding of the many different ways that people live their lives. With language, you're able to see and experience more, which helps you grow as a person. Learning a new language also improves your memory. Several studies have consistently shown that those who study another language have improved memory as opposed to those who didn't learn another language. Learning another language also keeps your brain healthy by significantly delaying the onset of Alzheimer's and dementia. The difference can be as much as four to five more years of quality life. And those are just some of the reasons you should learn another language. The list just goes on and on. Now you know the benefits of studying another language, but why should you learn Cantonese in particular? Have you ever heard of Bruce Lee? Jackie Chan? Tao Yun Fat? Well, they all came from Hong Kong. Cantonese pop culture is huge. Many of the movies, dramas, and songs that are loved by people from all over the world were created in Hong Kong. Not everything gets translated either. So unless you know Cantonese, you're missing out on a lot of the amazing things that Cantonese pop culture has to offer. And what about the fact that Hong Kong is one of the world's leading international financial centers? Hong Kong is one of the world's most significant financial centers. It has the highest financial development index score, and it was ranked as the world's most competitive economy, as well as the freest market economy in the world. It also ranks within the top 10 in GDP per capita. Knowing Cantonese opens up many business opportunities. And knowledge of the language of Cantonese culture, work ethic, and business etiquette can go a very long way in the world of business. Oftentimes, it could even make or break an important business deal. Knowing Cantonese, then, will put you ahead of the pack. Hong Kong has also been in the top spot of the world's most business city for six consecutive years. Cantonese, the main dialect used in Hong Kong, is spoken by over 60 million people around the world. So if you're planning on making a few friends in Hong Kong, being able to speak at least some Cantonese will go a long way. So clearly, there are many, many reasons why you should learn Cantonese. Okay then, we've talked about why you should start learning a language and why you should start learning Cantonese, but how should they get started, Jinho? Well, it's as simple as learning your first word in Cantonese and building up from there. The good news, though, is that you already know some Cantonese. Dim sum, tong sui, kung fu, lychee, oolong, wonton. These are words that have made their way into English, but the reverse is also true. Many English words have made their way into Cantonese as the result of British rule between 1841 and 1997. Such as basi, salot, salmon yu. This means that you already know some words that exist in Cantonese. Let's teach you something that you might not know, but which is very useful. Ngoi. It means thank you in Cantonese. That's a useful phrase. Can you explain what these characters are, though? Sure. That's actually the Chinese writing system, and it's not as hard as it looks. Cantonese doesn't use alphabetical letters in its writing system like English does. Instead, we use a set of characters called Honzi. You can think of each character as a syllable. Ngoi. You'll learn the Cantonese writing system eventually, but for now, let's put up some romanization to help you get started. And the romanization system we use is called Yupping. It allows you to read Cantonese before you become familiar with Chinese character. Ngoi. Now you try. Ngoi. Your turn again. Ngoi. Well done. Now you know how to say thank you in Cantonese. We've covered a lot of things already, so why don't we wrap up the first lesson and recap on what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that studying another language has many benefits, such as providing new job and business opportunities. Hong Kong has a colorful history with many things for you to see and learn. And thank you in Cantonese is... Ngoi. In the next lesson, we're going to demystify Cantonese pronunciation by taking a look at the sounds of Cantonese, so be sure to watch the next video. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Bye! Hello! Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia and we are in Hong Kong, but it's raining today. We are going to talk about a bunch of Cantonese words. Let's see what's the topic. This week's theme is hobbies. Tio Mo. Tio Mo is to dance. Dancing. Uh, I used to learn dancing when I was younger. I did 
jazz dance. 玩樂器，玩樂器 is to play a music instrument. 樂器 is music instrument. Again, I used to play music instrument when I was younger. I used to play saxophone. 我細個都有玩樂器，我係吹 saxophone 嘅。影相，影相 is、uh, to take photo or photography. That's one of my hobbies too. 影<laughs> 相 in a sentence. 我中意影相，但係唔中意拎住好大部相機。I like taking photos, but I don't like carrying a heavy camera. <laughs> 唱歌 is to sing. 唱歌啦啦啦 ，to sing. 唱歌，我都學過唱歌，但係我唔中意。<laughs> I learned singing, but I didn't like it, and I'm tone deaf. 書法，書法 is calligraphy. Chinese calligraphy, we hold the pen like this. It's、uh, vertical. We hold it vertically. 書法，我媽媽有寫書法。My mother do calligraphy. It's true, and she's pretty good at it. So that's it for today. Today we talked about hobbies. What kind of hobbies do you have? And I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. Bye. Hi, I'm Olivia. Welcome back to Cantonese Weekly Words. This week's topic is rooms. 睡房，睡房 is bedroom. 睡 means to sleep. 房 is room, so the room for sleeping is bedroom. 我間睡房好細 ，my bedroom is very small. It's too small. 廚房，廚房啊、uh, is a kitchen, the room for cooking. 我個廚房唔夠大。My kitchen is not big enough. I like a very big kitchen. Ha peng, ha peng is a living room. Ha is actually guests. Peng is a living room, so it's like a big room for guests to sit when they visit. Ha peng, in a sentence. Oh ha peng, the sofa is black. The sofa in the living room is white. So we ask the kids not to play around the sofa. Tisa, Tisa is bathroom. Tisa, this Tisa is very dirty. Your bathroom stinks. Your bathroom smell. Fan pan, dining room. Fan is rice or a meal. So a big room for rice to eat is dining room. 飯廳嘅色調係啡色同綠色。The color theme of the dining room is、uh, brown and green. How about you? So、um, that's it for today. Today we talked about rooms, and、um, I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia, shooting in Hong Kong, and I'll see you next time. Hatsuki. <laughs> This is Hong Kong. <laughs>、Hi、guys, welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. I'm Olivia, and today we're going to talk about ten sad words. Sad. So here we go. Some fan yi lun upset. Some fan yi lun upset. Some means hard. Fan is troubled. Yi is mind. Lun is messy. So my heart and my mind is troubled and it's messy. It means upset. Like I'm just really upset. In a sentence, 收唔到男朋友嘅電話，令佢心煩意亂，冇辦法集中精神做嘢。She was upset and could not concentrate on her work because her boyfriend did not call her. 聽到呢個消息，我好心煩意亂。I'm very upset hearing that news. Next, 傷心 hurt. 傷心 hurt. 傷 is to be injured. 心 is hard, so your heart is injured. So you are hurt. 妈妈发现个仔吸毒，非常伤心。The mother was hurt deeply when she found out her son was taking drugs. Say no to drugs. So 伤心，妈妈好伤心。The mother is hurt.
Mother is hurt deeply. Next, sick ma lonely. Sick ma lonely. Sick ma. 冇朋友嘅人最寂寞。The person without any friend is the loneliest. 冇朋友 ，without friends like no friends 嘅人 ，the people 最 the most 寂寞 lonely。冇朋友嘅人最寂寞。The person without any friends is the loneliest。悲伤 ，sad。悲伤 ，sad。战争只会为人类带嚟悲伤。The war only brings sadness to human beings. There are way too many wars that bring sadness to human beings. All the wars, 战争 is war. 战争只会为人类带来悲伤 War only brings sadness. Next, 凄凉 miserable. 凄凉 miserable. 凄凉 miserable. This is very、um, colloquial. We use it a lot in speech, but not that much in writing. Although you can still use it. So in a sentence, 凄凉，做乜佢喊得咁凄凉 ？Why did he cry so miserably? For example, if a kid got lost on the street, he'll probably cry a lot, and the other people might say, 做乜佢喊得咁凄凉 ？And they will try to help. <laughs> Next, 喊 to cry, 喊 to cry, 喊喊。细路仔食唔饱就会喊。The kid will cry when he is hungry. 喊。你细个系咪成日喊 ？Did you cry a lot when you were young? Were you a crybaby? Let us know in the comment. Even now, many adults would cry a lot. Next, 灰心 discouraged. 灰心 discouraged. 灰心灰 is gray, like the color gray. And some is hard, so fui some is having a great heart. It means discouraged. In a sentence, 虽然比赛输咗，但系我哋唔会灰心。Although we lost the game, we did not feel discouraged. That's good. That's good sportsmanship. Next, 唔开心 unhappy. 唔开心 unhappy. 唔、mm, is not like the neg negation. 开心 is happy, so 唔开心 not happy, unhappy. In a sentence, 中唔到六合彩，梗系唔开心啦。I did not win the lottery. Of course, I'm unhappy. <laughs> 中唔到六合彩，六合彩 is lottery in Hong Kong. Is the official English name is Mark Six. 六合彩，中六合彩 to win a lottery. Next. 好惨 ，wretched， 好惨 ，wretched or miserable， 好惨啊！佢输晒啲钱喺股票市场。He was in wretched conditions because he lost all his money in the stock market. That sucks. That actually happens to a lot of people. They have to claim bankruptcy. They become bankrupt because they lost all their money in the stock market. That's why I don't like buying stock. <laughs> Next. Some tongue, heartbroken. Some tongue, heartbroken. Some is heart. Tongue is a、uh, pain or to ache. So some tongue is heartache or heartbroken. In a sentence, 俾最好嘅朋友出卖，令佢好心痛。He was so heartbroken because he was betrayed by his best friend. 出卖 is betrayed. 令佢好心痛 ，it makes him very heartbroken, or it makes his heart in a lot of pain. So that's it for today. Today we talked about ten sad words. I hope you never get to use them. Please leave us a comment if you think of any other sad words or ways to cheer up people who are sad. Please subscribe and check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list. And I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Bye bye. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about ten ways to remember words. 
remember words. It's always hard for me to remember new terms or new vocabularies. Let's see what are the way to improve that. 我不断重复读写同埋讲啲字。I use repetition, reading, writing, and speaking words over and over again. First one is 我不断重复读写同埋讲啲字。I use repetition. Reading, writing, and speaking the words over and over again. Keep saying it. 读书，读书，读书，读书，读书 ，until it doesn't mean anything to you, and then somehow you will remember. 我大声读啲字，等我自己可以听清楚。I say words out loud so that I can actually hear them. Next tip is: 我大声讲啲字，等我自己可以听清楚。I say the words out loud so that I can actually hear them. So some people, when they study a language, they just they just read it from the book or they listen to the video or audio, but they never actually pronounce them out loud. So this is actually a very helpful tip. You have to say it out loud and hear it in your own voice. That way, you can remember the words better. 我学啲单词嘅来源同埋唔同嘅字点样串连一齐。I learn about the roots of words and how different words are related to each other. Next tip is 我学啲单词嘅来源同埋唔同嘅字点样串连一齐。I learn about the roots of words and how different words are related to each other. Especially in Cantonese, it's very easy to link words together because Sometimes it has a cool words that relate everything about that with that character. So, for example, car is te, and a garage would be te fong. So the room for the car. You still have the word te in all the terms that are about cars. That's very useful, right? 我尝试喺日常生活当中用呢个语言。I try to use the language routinely in the context of daily life. 我尝试喺日常生活当中用呢个语言。I try to use the language routinely in the context of daily life. Say you're learning Cantonese and you can go to Chinatown, buy some vegetables, fruits. While you're there, you can talk to the people in Cantonese. 几钱啊？平啲啦。How much is it? Give it to me for cheaper price. 我将啲字同图画、相同埋得意嘅场面联系起嚟。I associate words with drawings, pictures, and funny scenes. Next tip is: 我将啲字同图画、相同埋得意嘅场面联系起嚟。I associate words with drawings, pictures, and funny scenes. So you can make a funny story in your mind. Some people say the character for a little is like a little penguin walking. Link it with any image, especially with、uh, Chinese characters. They are just like paintings. That would really help. 我听歌，然后记住啲歌词。I listen to songs and memorize the lyrics. Next, 我听歌，然后记住啲歌词。I listen to songs and memorize the lyrics. That's actually a very good way to learn new languages. Maybe not so much for English. <laughs> Now that the songs are like work, 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 a repetition of some meaningless words. I don't know. 尽量多阅读，尤其系报纸，可以帮我记住啲单词。Reading as much as possible, especially the newspaper, helps me to remember words. Next tip is: 尽量多阅读，尤其系报纸。可以幫我記住啲單詞。Reading as much as possible, especially the newspaper, helps me to remember words. While you're reading the articles or the newspaper, there are always some characters, some terms that you can pick out, and that would help the words sit in your mind. 我成日睇嗰啲為小朋友而設嘅電視或者 YouTube 影片。I often watch TV or YouTube videos that are designed for young children. Next tip is: 我成日睇嗰啲为小朋友而设嘅电视或者 YouTube 影片。I often watch TV or YouTube videos that are designed for young children. 
Why those for young children? Because they're easier and they're slower and they are clean and they are easier for learners to absorb new information. 我將新嘅單詞同自己母語入面差唔多發音嘅字聯係一齊。I associate new words with words that sound similar in my native language. Next one is 我將新嘅單詞同自己母語入面差唔多發音嘅字聯係一齊。I associate new words with words that sound similar in my native language. That is very helpful. It's even easier for Cantonese because we have so many words that came from English. For example, bus, bus came from English bus, and strawberries, 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 cherries is cherry. So that's how a lot of Cantonese words were made. 我尝试用广东话嚟谂嘢，令到我嘅思考过程自然啲。I try to think in Cantonese so it becomes natural to my thought process. Next tip is, 我尝试用广东话嚟谂嘢，令到我嘅思考过程自然啲。I try to think in Cantonese so it becomes natural to my thought process. If you are thinking in a new language, that really helps you in building up the grammar or the syntax, everything about the language. So please try these tips. They will help you remember the new words you learn in another language. Please subscribe so we have more fun videos for you in Cantonese with me, Olivia. Also check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Everybody, this is Olivia from CantoneseClass101.com. Do you know how to say bye in Cantonese? In this lesson, you'll learn three parting expressions in Cantonese. Let's start with the easiest one. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. This means goodbye in Cantonese. You can use this in casual situations. It sounds like the English bye bye. But be careful to start with the first tone, bye, followed by another one in the third tone, bye, bye bye. If you want to be more formal, there is a different phrase you should use. Joy gain, joy gain, joy gain. This also means goodbye. Remember, both of the syllables joy and gain are both mid flat tones. Joy gain. If you know you're going to see the person again, here's a phrase for you: Chi di gain, chi di gain, chi di gain. This means see you later in Cantonese. The direct translation is later see. T is a low tone and it means late, while D is the Cantonese version of the ER in English. Gin is the verb to see. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what you've learned. Listen to the phrases and repeat after me. The casual way to say goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. The formal way to say goodbye. Joy gain. Joy gain. See you later. Well done. Here's a fun fact: when saying goodbye to elderly or someone you won't meet again in a long time, we say 保重 It means goodbye and take care. You just learn how to say bye in three different ways in Cantonese. 
And don't forget, you can learn Cantonese twice as fast with the free PDF lessons. Just click on the link in the description to download them. See you soon. Chi digin. Olivia 我会在这段影片的最后公布答案而冰皮月饼是一种冻食的新式月饼而且通常在公众场所留下一大堆很难清理的立迹於是王母娘娘就送了兩粒長身筆老仙藥給他和嫦娥但在 每年中秋節前後連續三晚都會可以在銅鑼灣的大坑見到火龍在街道舞動而這項活動更加在2011年烈日中國國家級非物質文化遺產名錄令到這個香港傳統可以延續現在就來揭曉問題的答案你知不知
I'm super excited for the upcoming trip. 滿意 satisfied. 我對呢間酒店非常滿意 I'm very satisfied with this hotel. 放鬆 relax. I feel relaxed when I'm near the ocean. 去到海邊個人即刻放鬆曬 So that's it for today. Today we talked about ten happy words. Which word do you like the most, and what makes you happy? Tell us in the comment section, and I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Bye. Everyone, I'm Olivia. Today we're in Thailand and on the ocean, but we're going to talk about ten phrases you always want to hear. Let's see what they are. The first one is, "You 今日好精神 You look great today. 今日 is today. 精神 is kind of like lively, but in general, great, like good. So, "You 今日好精神 If you see someone. That has a glow in their face. You can tell them. 你今日睇到好精神喎、哦！你今日好精神。我帶咗啲特別嘢俾你。I bought you something special. It's always nice to receive gifts and special gifts, I guess, for everyone. 我帶咗啲特別嘢俾你。I bought. I brought you something special. Maybe for your anniversary. Oh、well, no, not anniversary. It's not. It's it's the best if it's not. Anniversary or birthday or anything, just a surprise gift, not surprise. It's even normal gift. I brought you something special. It's a very nice gesture that you can do for anyone. Nay, gone the am. You were right. Nay, gone the am. You were right. Literally, you spoke correctly. So, nay, gone the am. You were right. Whatever you said was right. That's usually what a guy has to say to stop arguing with a girlfriend. So, you win. You win. Win is win. So you win. That's always something you wanna hear. You won the lottery. They win the lottery. Lottery is lottery in Hong Kong. It's the name of the lottery in Hong Kong. They win the lottery. They win the lottery in Hong Kong. They win the lottery. They win the lottery in Hong Kong. They win the lottery. They win the lottery in Hong Kong. They win the lottery. They win the lottery in Hong Kong. They win the lottery. They win the lottery in Hong Kong. They win the lottery. They win the lottery in Hong Kong. They win the lottery. They win the lottery in Hong Kong. They win the lottery. They win the lottery in Hong Kong. They win the Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. That's very nice. If the roommate or your spouse or your family do that, that's awesome. Can you clean my place for me? You are a very successful chef. You are an excellent cook. You are a very successful chef. Or you can just say, "You make good food. What you cook is delicious." Chef is cook. This year, there will be a bonus. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. 今个月底 is this is the end of this month. 奖金 is bonus. So who doesn't want a bonus, right? 你做得好好啊 ！You did a great job. 你做得好好啊 ！I always give compliment on whatever people do for you. Doesn't cost anything to say a compliment. I always show gratitude. 我挂住你 ，I miss you. 我好挂住你 ，I miss you very much. Literally, it is by gua is the verb to hang, so it's kind of like I hang you up. <laughs> Maybe you hang someone in the in your heart. You can think of it that way. So I miss you. You soon have more hand. The budget is unlimited. You soon is budget and unlimited is more hand. Spend all you want, but do it correctly. Do it rightly. So that's it for today. Today we talked about ten phrases you always want to hear. Can you think of any phrases that people would always want to hear? Leave us a comment. Subscribe. Check out CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. Bye. I'm Olivia. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Cantonese. Hi, everybody. My name is Olivia. Welcome to the 800 core Cantonese words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Cantonese. But there's a twist. 
With each new lessons in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you've learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at CantoneseClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Cantonese. Okay, let's get started. First is... Yat today come yet come yet today come yet look team something today at 6 15 come yet look team something come yet yesterday come yet come yet yesterday no come yet tang joy yet yet ga i took a day off yesterday no come yet Tang yat tomorrow. Tang yat tomorrow. Tang yat. Tang yat tomorrow. Tang yat gin. See you tomorrow. Tang yat gin. Sing ke. Week. Sing ke. Sing ke. Week. Yet go sing ke. Yao tat yat. There are seven days in a week. Yet go sing ke yao chat yat. Nin year. Nin nin year. Yan nin yao sub yi go yut. There are twelve months in a year. Yat nin yao sub yi go yut. Mio second. Mio mio second. Sub meal, ten seconds. Sub meal, fun chong minute. Fun chong, fun chong minute. Sam fun chong, three minutes. Sam fun chong, chong hour. Chong, chong hour. No mui yet fun bad go chong. I sleep for eight hours every day. No mui yet. Fun bad go chong. Si chong clock. Si chong. Si chong clock. Now chong alarm clock. Now chong dim o'clock. Dim dim o'clock. Yiga sub dim is ten o'clock. Yiga sub dim. Yet like Calendar. Yat lek. Yat lek. Calendar. Hai si hao yu won yat lek la. It's time to change the calendar. Hai si hao yu won yat lek la. Sing ke yat. Monday. Sing ke yat. Sing ke yat. Yao do sing ke yat la. It's Monday again. Yao do sing ke yat la. Sing ke yi. Tuesday. Sing ke yi. Sing ke yi. Tuesday. Ha sing ke yi. Tuesday next week. Ha sing ke yi. Sing ke sam. Wednesday. Sing ke sam. Sing ke sam. Wednesday. Sapa ho sing ke sam. Wednesday the 18th. Sub ba ho sing ke sam. Sing ke se Thursday. Sing ke se. Sing ke se Thursday. Hai sing ke se on Thursday. Hai sing ke se. Sing ke n Friday. Sing ke n. Sing ke n Friday. 在日历上面写星期五的约定 Write the plans for Friday on the calendar 在日历上面写星期五的约定 星期六 Saturday 星期六 星期六 Saturday 星期六晚 Saturday night 星期六晚 星期日, 
Sunday， 星期日，星期日，星期日 Sunday， 星期日朝早 ，Sunday morning， 星期日朝早，做 do 做做,做完成 ，to do it all。完成，去 go， 去去 go， 直去 go straight ahead， 直去。Well done. In this lesson, you expanded the vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at CantoneseClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Jogging. Hi, welcome to Introduction to Cantonese. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by. Hi everyone, I'm Jinho. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Cantonese grammar. Word order refers to the order in which words are structured to form a sentence. Consider the English sentence "I eat an apple." But first, let's remove the article "an" here for simplicity. We're left with just "I eat apple." The basic word order for English is subject-verb-object, or SVO for short. If we break down the English sentence "I eat apple," we can see that the subject "I" is presented first. This is followed by the verb "eat," and then finally the object "apple" is positioned last. This is the basic word order for sentences in English. Now let's compare the same sentence. I eat an apple in Cantonese. 我食蘋果 Like before, let's remove the particles to keep it simple. So we are just left with the words. If we break down the Cantonese sentence, we get the subject 我 meaning I. Then comes the verb 食 meaning eat, and finally we have the object 蘋果 Meaning apple. The word order for Cantonese is SVO, the same as English. Easy. Right, and this is the basic word order for sentences in Cantonese. Okay, let's move on to the next section. To form basic sentences in Cantonese, keep that SVO word order in mind. Right. For example, 我睇戏 I watch movie. Let's break down the sentence. We start with the subject 我 meaning I, then comes the verb 睇 meaning watch, and finally we have the object 戏 meaning movie. Subject verb object easy. Jinho, can you give us one more example? Sure. Let's introduce a new subject 你 meaning you. 你食苹果 You eat apple. Okay, I recognize the words from the previous sentence. So we simply change the subject that begins the sentence without changing any other parts. Is that right? Yep. Unlike the Romance languages, there is no verb conjugation or gender in the Cantonese language. Yes, the word order is similar to English. So in fact, Cantonese is not that difficult. We start with the subject 你 meaning you, then the verb 食 meaning eat, and finally the object 蘋果 apple. That's how we form basic sentences in Cantonese. That's really simple. What about negative sentences? Forming negative sentences in Cantonese is even easier. Let's find out how. Forming negative sentences in Cantonese is easy. In most cases, we just need to add the character for no or negation. Hmm. In front of the verb. Jinho, can you give us some examples? Of course. Let's use the sentence "I eat apple." 我食蘋果 For example, to make it negative, just add "m" in front of the verb "食." Eat. 我唔食蘋果 I don't eat apple. Now let's make the sentence "I watch movie" negative. Okay. To recap, "I watch movie" in Cantonese is 我睇戲睇 is a verb to watch. So the negative version of this sentence would be 我唔睇戏 I don't watch movie. Yep. So what do you think? Pretty easy, right? 
Let's talk now about how to form questions in Cantonese. We're going to start with an incredibly important and useful phrase. You're going to need this to ask what something is. So put the pronoun or name of the item first, and then add... Haimat. For example, if you want to ask, what is this, you'd say... Nego haimat, in which nego means this thing. And for, what is that, it's... Gogo haimat, in which gogo means that thing. If someone was talking about, say, eggets... Gaidanzai. Yum. If you don't know what that is, then you can ask, what are eggets? So we start with the name of the item. is a kind of Hong Kong street snack. Then we add... Haimat. To form the question, what are eggets? Very straightforward. Now, you try to form a question. Leave it in the comment section for us to read. Yes, please. Okay, now let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that Cantonese sentences are formed using a subject, verb, object, or SVO word order. To form negative sentences, we put the negation character in front of the verb. And lastly, you can create basic what is something questions in Cantonese by saying the pronoun or name of an item first, followed by... Haimat. We've covered only the very basics of Cantonese grammar. If you're interested in learning more, check out our Cantonese in 3 Minutes video series. In that course, we teach you useful phrases while covering the fundamentals of Cantonese grammar, and each lesson is only 3 minutes long. In the next lesson, we'll introduce you to the basics of Cantonese writing. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Bye! How are your Cantonese listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? 一對男女在餐廳裡面看餐牌。個男人會叫什麼食? 你吃什麼啊? 薄餅好像挺好吃,我想我會叫薄餅。我今天吃完薄餅了。好,就這樣決定 did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia and today's topic is... Color. Let's see what the first word is. Hongsei. Hongsei is red. And that's what I'm wearing today. Today I wear a red shirt. Namsei. Namsei is blue. Tin hong hai namsei. The sky is blue. Luksei. Luksei is green. I have a green bag. Wongsei. Wang is yellow. In a sentence, I have a yellow car. That's not true. Haksik <laughs> is black. My hair is black. That's it for today. Today we talked about color, and I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. Bye! Hi everyone, do you know how to say thank you in Cantonese? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with the easiest one. Ngai. Ngai. Another way to say thank you is Doze.
多谢。Finally, here is a third way to express your gratitude. 我好感谢你。我好感谢你。Okay, let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. 唔该。唔该。多谢，多谢，我好感谢你，我好感谢你。Well done. You just learned three different ways to say thank you in Cantonese. And if you really want to become fluent and speak Cantonese from the very first lesson. Go to CantoneseClass101.com. See you next time. Hi everyone! Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we are going to talk about top ten compliments you always want to hear. Everybody loves compliments, right? So here we go. 你好靓仔 ，You are handsome. 你好靓仔 ，You are handsome. Lang means pretty, and Zai is kind of like boy, so pretty boy, handsome. If you want to say it to a girl, you can say, "Ni hao lang nu," you're pretty. Next, "Ni hao le," you're smart. "Ni hao le," you're smart. Le is the adjective for smart, so you can say that to kids or adults, and we all love to hear that. You're smart. "Ni hao le." 你系一个好好嘅朋友。You are an awesome friend. 你系一个好好嘅朋友。You are an awesome friend. Are you an awesome friend? <laughs> 好好 means like very good. 朋友 is friend. So 你系一个好好嘅朋友。You are an awesome friend. Next. 你嘅内在美仲靓过你嘅外在美。Your inside is even more beautiful than your outside. 你嘅內在美仲靚過你嘅外在美。Your inside is even more beautiful than your outside. 內在美 means inner beauty, and 外在美 is outer beauty, like appearance. So 內 is in, 外 is outside. It sounds very similar, but be careful. So 內 and 外 outside and 內 inside. 你嘅內在美仲靚過你嘅外在美。Your inside is even more beautiful than your outside. 你嘅履歷好出色。Your resume is impressive. 你嘅履歷好出色。Your resume is impressive. We usually hear this when we go for a job interview. 履歷 means resume or CV. 出色 means impressive. So, for example, you graduate from Stanford, Harvard, and you're exactly what the company is looking for. So they are very impressive, and that's why you get to go to the job interview. And they will say, "Nigga, lay like how to say next." 做得好 great job or good job. 做得好 great job or good job. 做得好做 is to do. 好 is good. So. You have done it very well. Joe, the whole good job. Next, 呢件外套好衬你 That jacket looks nice on you. 呢件外套好衬你 That jacket looks nice on you. 外套外套 is jacket. It looks nice on you. 好衬你 But literally, it means it goes well. It matches you very well. So um, it looks good. 好衬你 Next. 你好有品味 ，You have good taste. 你好有品味 ，You have good taste. 品味 is taste, or sometimes we say tasty. That is the long word from English. 你好有 taste, or 你好有品味 Next. 你嘅笑容好靓 ，Your smile is beautiful. 你嘅笑容好靓 ，Your smile is beautiful. 笑容 smile. 靓 is beautiful or pretty, so. 你嘅笑容好靓
Your smile is beautiful. Everybody is prettier when they smile. So always smile. <laughs> Next. 你好靓, you look gorgeous. 你好靓, you look gorgeous. So as we mentioned, 你好靓仔 is for a guy. You are handsome. And 你好靓女 is for a girl. So 你好靓 and 你好靓女 are pretty similar. It both means that you're pretty, you're beautiful. So that's it for today. Today we talked about top 10 compliments you always want to hear. Do you have any compliments that you like to use or you always hear? Let us know in the comment section. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. So welcome to Top Cantonese Words, Cantonese Top Words, Top Cantonese Words. Today we're going to talk about the 10 hardest words to pronounce and obviously I can't pronounce anything now. 10 hardest words to pronounce in Cantonese. All right, let's start. Tang, it means orange, but some people might find it difficult because the N has a little NG. So it's a, na a bit of nasal sound. Tang, tang. And I'll say tang, I eat an orange. Nan, it's not. Nan, it means difficult and it's difficult to pronounce. So it start with N and end with another N. Nan, and it's in a low tone. So nan. Practice and you can get there. Gongdonghua, nan. Cantonese is not difficult. Buizhe, <laughs> is the back. Buizhe, oh, buizhe, hotong. My back is in pain. Buizhe, zhe, buizhe, chang, chang. It's long, chang, chang, tao fa, chang. And it ends with another ng. So, chang, mm, chang, sang. So, sang is to want, to think. Sang, it ends with another ng. Sang, sang, ngo, ng, ng. Sometimes we get lazy and we just say ngo, o, o, like o, o sound instead of ng, o, ngo, or o. Can you tell the difference? I'm starting to sound like a goose. Ngo hai Olivia. I'm Olivia. Sun Tai, Sun Tai is the body. Sun is like sun in the sky. Sun Tai, Sun Tai Gin Hong to have good health, like good body, healthy, healthy body. Yeah, yeah, is medicine. That's something you need when you are when your Sun Tai is not healthy. Yeah, Ben Jaja, you said yeah. When you're sick, you have to take medicine. Zap to incorporate. Zap, don't pronounce it like zap. There are a lot of large corporates in Hong Kong. Hu, Hu is bitter. It is the second tone that's hard to pronounce. Like Hu, it's kind of like when you ask is the parking lot full. So that's it for today. Today we talked about the 10 hardest words to pronounce in Cantonese. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. You can check the word list on CantoneseClass101.com and practice the pronunciation and speak it out loud that really helps. I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Bye. Hi. Welcome to Introduction to Cantonese. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by... Hi everyone, I'm Jin Ho. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Cantonese pronunciation. Pronunciation refers to the manner in which a word is spoken. So don't focus on reading what's on screen. Instead, focus on listening and repeating. Let's start by pointing out that Cantonese doesn't use an alphabetical writing system like English does. Instead, it uses characters that are comprised of parts that depict physical objects or abstract ideas. 
literacy in Cantonese requires the memorization of thousands of components and characters. This can be quite daunting for new learners, but don't worry, you don't have to know the writing system right away. We can start learning Cantonese with the romanization system built for learners. This is called... Yutping. Yutping is the transcription of Cantonese using Roman letters. It makes learning Cantonese much easier, particularly for English speakers. As you begin to learn more characters and improve in Cantonese, you eventually rely less and less on romanization. But for now, it's a good place to start. That's right. There are 22 consonant sounds and seven vowel sounds in Cantonese. You can form every single word in Cantonese using these sounds. We've made an ultimate Cantonese pronunciation guide video series for you guys. This series explains the consonant and vowel sounds in detail. We will link to this at the end of this introduction to pronunciation lesson. But before you do that, we'll tell you just how easy Cantonese can be. Now for a quick history lesson. Do you know how long Hong Kong has been a British colony? That's a trick question. Hong Kong's territory was actually acquired from three separate treaties, first in 1842, then 1860, and lastly in 1898. So most people would say 99 years. This is the time frame during which the UK had control of what is now the Hong Kong region. Although the sovereignty of Hong Kong was returned to the People's Republic of China by the United Kingdom in 1997, English remains one of the official languages of Hong Kong. They're mostly terms for items that were imported or cultures that started in the Western societies. Jinho, can you name a few for us? Of course. Let's see if you can guess what they are before we give you the English translation. Basi, Salut. Sido, Teleji, Jerksi, Sofa. Now here are the answers. Tell us how many you guessed right. Basi, bus. Salad, salad. Sido, store. Teleji, cherry. Jerksi, jazz. Sofa, sofa. It's a nice surprise to find out that for some terms, Cantonese-speaking people can communicate together with English-speaking people, even without knowing the other language. Exactly. So if you are an English speaker, you already know something like 10% of the Cantonese language. Okay, now in this section, we're going to talk about what most learners find the most difficult, the Cantonese tones. Unless you already know another tonal language like Vietnamese or Thai, the Cantonese tones can seem totally bizarre to you. In Cantonese, pitch accent is super important. That's right. A word's meaning could be different depending on the tone that's pronounced. You definitely don't want to mix up mother and horse, for instance. <laughs> yes, that would be a funny mistake. In Cantonese, mother is ma and horse is ma. Imagine someone introducing his mother to you by saying, this is my horse. So you can see how incredibly important it is to learn all the tones in Cantonese. But don't worry, there are only six tones. Can you demonstrate all of them for our learners? Of course. C, 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 C. Can you distinguish the different tones? Jinho, can you please say them again and a bit slower this time? C, C, C. C, C, C. Okay, let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned about the Cantonese romanization system, and we learned that Cantonese words can sound very similar to their English equivalent due to the Western influence while under British rule. Lastly, we learned a bit about the six Cantonese tones. We've covered only the basics of Cantonese pronunciation. For more details on the Cantonese tones, please check out our Ultimate Cantonese Pronunciation Guide video series for an in-depth explanation, demonstration, and examples. In the next lesson, we'll introduce you to the basics of Cantonese grammar. You'll learn about Cantonese word order and how to build basic phrases in Cantonese. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Bye! Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today, uh, we are in Hong Kong and I am Olivia. We are going to talk about um, months of the year. Yet you. Yet you is January. My birthday is in January. Ngo san yet. Hai hai yet you. Say you is April. 
April Fools. 四月一號係愚人節。April Fools is on the first of April. 六月 is、uh, June. 有啲學校六月開始放暑假。Some schools、uh, start summer vacations in June. 十月 is、uh, October. 我媽咪嘅生日係喺十月。My mom's birthday is in October. 十一月 is November. 十一月係冇公眾假期嘅。There's no public holiday in November except Sundays, but still sad. You can see in Cantonese the months are really easy to say because you just count the numbers like one, two, three, four, five. One month, 一月 is January. Two months, like second month is、uh, February, and so on. So twelve. Month is December, sub year. So I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia, and see you next time. Hachiki. Hi. Welcome to Introduction to Cantonese. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by. Hi everyone, I'm Jin Ho. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Cantonese writing. Don't worry if you're not comfortable with the Chinese writing system yet. You can always rely on the romanization system. This lesson just gives you an overview of how the language is in its written form. One very interesting point about Cantonese is that it used to be defined as just a spoken language. As it's one of the major Chinese dialects, it uses the same written standard Chinese as all other dialects. That's why some people look at some of our lessons and say, "Hey, it's the same as Mandarin." Yes, we use the same writing, but the pronunciation, use of terms, and sometimes the constructions are different in a very significant way. As a colloquial language, Cantonese is non-standard and full of slang. There are also new Chinese characters that are unique to Cantonese. Both the standard and slang field written texts are widely used in Hong Kong. Newspapers, officials, and documents use the standard form, while tabloids and forums use the colloquial form. Movie subtitles mostly use the standard form, but depending on the genre, sometimes you'll find subtitles in colloquial form. So very often, you'll hear actors, hosts, or anchors say things that aren't exactly what's shown in the subtitles. That's just the difference between colloquial and written forms in Cantonese. If you say everything the same way it's written in the standard Chinese, it would sound very strange, as if you're reading from a poem. So keep that in mind. For example, we say "hai," meaning at, such as at school, "hai hao hao." But the same thing in writing is "zoi." So at school in writing becomes "zoi hao hao." For your reference, we have a section dedicated to this topic on the website, including a reference sheet of the common substitutes for words in written and colloquial writings. Just look for written versus spoken Cantonese under Cantonese resource. You can also check out our advanced video series, Video Culture Class: Hong Kong Holidays. In that series, we have subtitles in written form, while the host is speaking in colloquial form, just like what you see on TV shows and movies. Chinese characters are not as difficult as they first appear. Once you're ready to learn, practice writing them again and again. Yes, we all learn it that way. After knowing a certain number of Chinese characters, you become familiar with the building blocks that make the characters. By putting them in different combinations, you get the characters you need. We've prepared practice sheets for 100 of the most commonly used characters on the Learn Chinese Characters section, including basic info such as meaning, pronunciation, radical, stroke count, and a stroke order demonstration. So make sure to check it out. You can learn character by character. Or choose the ones that already look familiar to you. Moreover, in most of our audio lessons, we provide Hongzhi close-up PDF files. These show the Chinese characters introduced in the lesson, along with their practice sheets. This is an excellent way to learn new words as well as to practice writing Chinese characters. So remember to make use of all the resources provided on the site, and you'll be able to master Cantonese in no time. Speaking of Cantonese resources, we've recently added a section for learners who want to learn Chinese characters the way native speakers do. That's right. 
When we were young, we learned Chinese characters by radical. These are the building blocks of the Chinese characters. There are 214 Chinese radicals in total. Each radical reflects some common semantic or phonetic characteristic. For example, most characters that have the grass radical are related to plants and herbs. For instance, fa, flower, chou, grass, cha, tea, and mui, berry. Or the characters that have the rain radical are related to rain or other weather conditions and phenomena. Yes, yu, rain, wan, cloud, su, snow, and lo, thunder. By learning the radicals, you can easily associate a character with its meaning or group them with relevant terms. This can help you memorize Chinese characters faster and more efficiently. We also use radicals as the index for dictionaries. While English dictionaries are arranged in alphabetical order, Chinese dictionaries are arranged in radicals, starting from the least stroke count. For example, to search for the word fa, flowers, first, you find the grass radical in under the three strokes index. Then you count the extra strokes excluding the radical. In this case, there are four strokes. So under the grass plus four strokes section, you will be able to find the character fa, flower. From that, you can find a detailed explanation about the character and its meanings. You also find vocabulary starting with this character, or in some dictionaries, its translation in other languages. Right, so definitely check out the free Cantonese resource on CantoneseClass101.com for more details. In this lesson, we covered the very basics of Cantonese writing. You learned about the writing systems used in Hong Kong, the Chinese characters, and the radicals. Don't forget to check out the Cantonese resource page for the free resources that we talked about in this lesson. In the next lesson, you'll be entering Cantonese Boot Camp, where you'll learn useful beginner phrases to get you speaking Cantonese right away. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Bye. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Cantonese. Hi, everybody. My name is Olivia. Welcome to the 800 Core Cantonese Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Cantonese. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at CantoneseClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Cantonese. Okay, let's get started. First is Sutsam Sutsam shirt Sutsam Sutsam shirt Nigin Sutsam Haiti This shirt is purple Nigin Sutsam Haiti Full pants Full Full pants. Jerk full. Pull your pants up. Jerk hold full. Nin sun quan. Dress. Lin sun quan. Lin sun quan. Lin sun quan. Dress. Ji se ge lin sun quan. A purple dress. Gong say Gong Gong say Nay Gong me? What did you say? Nay Gong me? Da call Da Da call Nay Hom Ho ye Da ni go din wa could you call this number? Nay ho n ho yi da ni go din wa. One, find. One, one, find. 
，你可唔可以帮我哋揾我哋个位 ？Can you help us find our seats？ 你可唔可以帮我哋揾我哋个位？干净 ，clean， 干净。干净 ，clean。呢个国家好干净。This country is very clean。呢个国家好干净。污糟 ，dirty。污糟，污糟 ，dirty。点解你件衫咁污糟嘅？ Why are your clothes so dirty? 点解你件衫咁污糟嘅？红萝卜 ，carrot。红萝卜，红萝卜 ，carrot。椒，西兰花，翠玉瓜，京葱，红萝卜。茄子同生菜都系蔬菜。Peppers, broccoli, zucchini, leeks, carrots, eggplants, and lettuce are all vegetables. 椒、西兰花、翠玉瓜、京葱、红萝卜、茄子同生菜都系蔬菜。洋葱 onion， 洋葱，洋葱 onion。我唔中意洋葱。I don't like onions。我唔中意洋葱。生菜 lettuce， 生菜，生菜 lettuce。我嘅沙律得生菜同番茄。My salad only has lettuce and tomato。我嘅沙律得生菜同番茄。绵羊 ，sheep。绵羊，绵羊 ，sheep。绵羊喺度食紧绿色嘅草。The sheep is eating the green grass. 绵羊喺度食紧绿色嘅草。兔仔 rabbit， 兔仔，兔仔 rabbit。啡色嘅兔仔喺花园食紧叶。The brown rabbit is eating leaves in the garden. 啡色嘅兔仔喺花园食紧叶。海狗 seal， 海狗，海狗，海狗 seal。海狗喺度转呼啦圈。The seal is spinning hula hoops。海狗。喺度转呼啦圈，云 cloud， 云云 cloud。今日天晴，间中有云。Today's weather is sunny with occasional clouds。今日天晴，间中有云。晴 ，sunny。晴，晴 ，sunny。我中意晴天。I like it when it's sunny。我中意晴天。雨季 ，rainy season。雨季，雨季 ，rainy season。香港嘅雨季系喺四月至九月。The rainy season in Hong Kong is from April to September. 香港嘅雨季
係喺四月至九月。B B baby B B B B B B baby B B 喺氈上面瞓緊覺。The baby is sleeping on the blanket. B B 喺氈上面。瞓緊覺，女仔 ，girl， 女仔，女仔 ，girl， 個女仔好中意狗仔。The young girl really likes the puppies。個女仔好中意狗仔。男仔 ，boy， 男仔。男仔 boy， 男仔喺度洗緊碗。The boy is washing the dishes。男仔喺度洗緊碗。Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at CantoneseClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily live conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Jagin. Hello,我是Olivia 例如2014年的农历新年是在1月31日 年三十萬一家人就會聚埋一齊,齊齊整整咁食團年飯。而家準備好利是傳盒和年糕來招待這些拜年的親友新年吃年糕是因為他聽下來似年糕一樣寓意年年高升農曆年最有趣的地方是派利是利是其實是一個紅色或金色的順風仔而裡放了錢的每一位已
Welcome. Ni hao. My name is Olivia, and welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today, we're going to talk about ten ways to say hello. Hello, hello. So, of course, you can say in English like hello, or with a Cantonese accent, hello. <laughs> so, let's start with the word list. Hello, hello. The first word is hello. So it's hello, but with a Cantonese accent. It came from the English hello, of course. Zhou san, good morning. And the next is Zhou san, good morning. Zhou san, good morning. So in the morning, like before noon, whenever you see people, you can say Zhou san, Zhou san, xin san Zhou san, kính chào sốc sốc Zhou san. Ni hao, hi, good day. Nei hao, that's like hi and good day. So nei hao literally means you well. So nei hao, it's a bit formal, or um, well, not exactly formal, but it's more for polite way to say it. So I would say nei hao to say the security guard of the building. Nei hao, zhou san. Hi, good morning. 大家好。Hello, everybody. 大家好 Hello, everybody. 大家好 So if I'm talking to a group of people, say I'm talking to you guys, you listeners and watchers, I would say 大家好大家好啊大家 means like everyone. 好 is well. So if it's one person, it's 你好 If it's group of people, say 大家好大家好好耐冇见 Long time no see. 好耐冇见 Long time no see. 好耐 Long time. 冇见 No see. Literally. So、um, if I run into someone that I haven't seen in a long time, I'm like, "Why? 好耐冇见 Hey, long time no see. How have you been? 最近点啊 How have you been? 最近点啊 How have you been? 最近点啊 How have you been? You say this with people you haven't met for quite some time. So, 最近 is recently, and 点嘛 is like how is it? How's it going? So, how are you recently? How are you lately? Or you can combine all of them like, hello, 好耐冇见，最近点啊？点啊 ？How's it going? 点啊 ？How's it going? This is very casual. I would use it with my friends. So, 点啊？ Um, watch your tone because if you say it angrily, it's like "dima." It's like, "What do you want?" <laughs> Or if you say it、um, with like without patience, you can say "dima." It's like, "What do you want now?" It's like, "What now?" So say it with a nice voice.、Uh, "Dima." It's it's like, "Oh, how are you? How are you feeling? How have you been?" 食咗饭未啊 ？Have you eaten yet? 食咗饭未啊？ Have you eaten yet? So, Asian people love to eat, and we greet other by asking if they have eaten yet. <laughs> so, si chao fan mei, have you eaten yet? Maybe I would use it around lunchtime, like one or two, to see if they have had lunch yet. But yeah, it's a very casual way to ask how someone is. 你几时翻嚟噶 ？When did you get back in town? 你几时翻嚟噶 ？When did you get back in town? So if you run into someone that you thought is not in town, you can say, 喂，你几时翻嚟噶？好耐冇见，你几时翻嚟噶 ？Long time no see. When did you come back? 你父母身体好吗 ？How are your parents? 你父母身体好吗 ？How are your parents? 你父母 your parents 身体好吗？身体 is body or health. 好吗 is well. So Literally, it means are your parents healthy? Are your parents well? So how are your parents? Hello, 好耐冇见，你父母身体好吗 ？Hello, long time no see. How are your parents? Like, if,、uh, it's a nice way to greet people and ask about their the parents. So that's it for today. Today we talked about ten ways to say hello. Hi, hi, hi. And I'm gonna say goodbye now. For now. And、uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And check out CantoneseClass101.com for more Cantonese videos and Cantonese fun stuff. See you next time. My name is Olivia. 
everyone, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Upon request, a lot of you request that we're making a list for 10 Hong Kong foods. Let's see if any of your favorite foods is in the list. Let's start. Yum yum yum. First word is Ha Gao, shrimp dumpling. Ha Gao is dim sum. Shrimp dumpling is a kind of dim sum. It's steamed in a rice, glutinous rice skin. Oh, it's so good. I want some right now. Yu dan. Fish ball. Yu dan. So they are fish balls. <laughs> if you're walking on the street in Hong Kong and you see people selling fish balls, you can just say, Oh, fish yu dan ngo. Give me one skewer of fish ball. Usually that's like four or five fish balls on one skewer. Oh, gale yu dan. You can ask for gale yu dan curry fish balls. Those are really good. Ngai bei chun gale yu dan ngo. Please give me a skewer of uh, curry fish ball. Siu mai pork dumplings. Siu mai is also a kind of dim sum and it's steamed in one of those bamboo dim sum boxes. Sometimes they have more choices than pork. Sometimes they have a scallop or a shrimp, even abalone in the dumpling. Ngai bei long siu mai ngo. Please give me one order of the steamed dumpling. Yi long is the measure word for those bamboo cases for dim sum. So yi long siu mai, one bamboo case of steamed dumpling. Usually there are like three or four inside. So it's best for sharing. Ta siu bao, barbecue pork bun. That's my favorite. There's actually a baked barbecue pork bun that is super delicious and very famous in Hong Kong. Try it if you can. Ta siu is barbecue pork and put it in a bun. Ta siu bao, bao is bun. Nido ge ta siu bao hou chut meng, ne ya ding yu si ya. The barbecue pork bun here is very famous. You've got to try it. Dan ta ik tart. Dan ta ik tart. Ooh, one of my favorite. Whenever I'm traveling, I would crave for ik tart. It's a pastry with kind of like a custard baked inside the pastry. It's best to eat it warm or hot. It's kind of like a warm custard. Oh, so good! I'm, I want some now. Also, the other version is Portuguese egg tart. Po tart po is for Portuguese. Those are really good too. A bit sweeter than the normal egg tart. Bindo hoi mai dan tart. Where can I buy egg tarts? That's a tough question whenever I go traveling. Gai dan zai egg waffle. They actually look like bubble wraps, like big versions of bubble wraps about this big and a whole bunch of them. And they're like waffles, so crunchy on the outside, soft in the inside. When I was in high school, there's an old man selling gai dan zai outside my school. He's like the most popular guy on the street. I want to eat the egg waffles that that old man made. That is like the best ever. Siu ngo, roasted goose. Siu ngo is a kind of the barbecue meat in Hong Kong that's very famous. Very oily but crispy. Sometimes we eat it with rice, sometimes with noodles, sometimes we wrap it in a bun. Many ways to eat it. Oh, I want some now. Siu ngo is very delicious. Try it. So there is actually an area in Hong Kong that has two or three very famous roast goose restaurant. It's called Sam Zhang. So Sam Zhang Siu ngo hou chut meng. The Sam Zhang roast goose are very popular. I have been there. It's a bit similar to what they have in other area, but it's always nice to try. Yin Wo 
bird's nest that's like swallow bird's nest not sure if you've heard of it but it's supposed to be really good for the skin for ladies it has a lot of collagen estrogen uh, vitamins minerals whatever yeah it's up in wall bird's nest cooked in coconut milk that's a very popular Hong Kong dessert I know how to make bird's nest in coconut milk come try it sometimes but you have to buy the bird's nest <laughs> I don't have any at home and those are very expensive next is chong yao bang green onion pancake that's like the Chinese version of nam of tortilla I don't know it's made with green onion and oil sometimes they put other kinds of onion in there too it's good to go with strong flavor stew I like to eat Shanghai Pao的葱油餅 I like the green onion pancakes from Shanghainese cuisine so there are many types of green onion pancakes and the kind that the Shanghainese made are my favorite Bolo Bao Pineapple Bun Bolo is pineapple, bao is bun, pineapple bun, but there is no pineapple in the pineapple bun. I know that in Japan they call it melon bun. So Japan is melon and in Cantonese it's pineapple. And I think in Mexico they call it the seashell bun. It's a sweet bread. Somehow it's very famous uh, in Hong Kong because they serve it with a really thick layer of butter. It's kind of sweet and salty at the same time. Oh, so good. And they're pretty cheap too. So that's it for today. Today we talked about 10 Hong Kong foods. Is there any of those your favorite? Let us know what other Hong Kong food you like. Also leave a comment in the section. I'll help you find all the food you want to try in Hong Kong. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com and I'll see you next time in other videos. I'm Olivia. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Cantonese listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Mgai 唔該,我想睇下嗰個書架上面本書。邊一本啊?關於車嗰本。等一陣,呢本啊。係啊,就係嗰本。嗱。Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about top 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. So now you can make some uh, Cantonese speakers with your brilliant Cantonese skills. Let's go! 我学了广东话十年 I have been learning Cantonese for 10 years. Wow, 10 years, that's a lot. I mean, 10 years ago, not a lot of people knows about Cantonese. Usually they just thought it was just Chinese. And how long have you been learning Cantonese? Let us know in the comments. I'm learning Cantonese all by myself. I'm learning Cantonese all by myself. That's brilliant. I mean, you need a lot of self-discipline to learn a language. I've been trying. <laughs> I guess it's more common nowadays with the internet and the apps. 
and everything. By the way, download our apps. 除咗广东话，我仲识其他几个语言。Apart from knowing Cantonese, I can speak a few other languages as well. So that makes you what? Bilingual, trilingual, quadlingual? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's really cool. They heard they said that the more languages you speak, the more open you are to new ideas. How many languages can you speak? So if you want to tell people which languages you know, you can say, um, 除咗广东话，我仲识日文同德文。Other than Cantonese, I can also speak Japanese and German. 我睇港產片可以唔使字幕。I can watch Cantonese movies without subtitles. That's great. That's one of my goals when I'm learning a language to not have to read the subtitles when I watch a movie. Can you do that now? 我一日可以記五十個廣東話生字。I can memorize around fifty new Cantonese words a day. Can you really remember that much in a day? Maybe it's just me. I think I can only remember ten or twenty max. Tell us how many words you can remember every day. 广东话好得意又易学 Cantonese is fun and easy to learn. Yes, it is. It sounds like the song, and it has a lot of tones, so it's fun to learn. And there are a lot of slang. Once you know the language, it's very interesting to find out the background of the slangs or idioms. So work hard. 我嘅广东话三年之内会好似母语咁流利。I'll speak Cantonese like a native speaker in three years. Three years seems a bit short to master a language and make it fluent like your mother tongue, but you can do it. It usually takes a year and a half for someone to really capture the essence of the language, especially if you're living in a city that speaks that language. That really helps. 你讲嘅嘢我完全明白。I completely understand everything you said. I completely understand everything you said. 你讲嘅嘢我完全明白。Depending on the person speaking, sometimes even when people are speaking in Cantonese or in English, I can still get confused because the way they speak or the speed they speak. But yeah, I would aim to completely understand the other person when they're speaking in a language that I'm learning. So that is really good progress. 多谢，但系呢个唔系我嘅母语。Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker actually. 多謝，但係呢個唔係我嘅母語。Thank you, but I'm actually not a native speaker. Wow, if people said that to you, that means your Cantonese is really good and you have no accent at all. So that's like the ultimate goal for learning a language. 母語 is mother tongue, so it's like, thank you, but this is not my mother tongue. But I speak it like it's my mother tongue. I rock. 我净系学咗一年，已经好流利。我净系学咗一年，已经好流利。It took me only one year to become fluent. I mean, one year? Yes, you can do that if you study like every day and practice every day. I know someone who get really fluent in spoken Cantonese. Just、uh, practice a lot, say it out loud, and don't be afraid. Today we talked about the top ten phrases to amaze native speakers. Let us know if you have any extra tips, and check out the website for the word list. But maybe if you're already fluent in Cantonese, then you don't need the word list, right? All right, please subscribe so you can check out more Cantonese videos. And I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Ciao, bye. Hi guys, welcome to CantoneseClass11.com's Top Words. My name is Olivia, and today we're going to talk about 15 must-know family words. Here we go. 屋企人 family. 屋企人 family. 屋企 is home. 
yan is people. So people in our home is our family. Okay, yan in a sentence. 佢重視工作多過屋企人. He follows his job more than his family. Oh, that's really bad. Please don't do that. Please value your family more. 重視你屋企人多啲. 爸爸, father. Next, 爸爸, father. 爸爸帶我去睇足球比賽. Father takes me to watch soccer game. 老公, husband. 老公, husband. 他不单只是一个好老公,还是一个好爸爸. He is not only a good husband, but also a great father. 仔, son. 仔, son. 我有两个仔, 一个女. I have two sons and one daughter. 哥哥, older brother. 哥哥, older brother. 我跟哥哥去公园玩. My older brother and I go play in the park. When I was younger, I always wanted a, an older brother. And I would ask my mom for an elder brother, and she was like, you're too late. <laughs> you can only have a younger brother or younger sister, but I didn't want it. I only want an elder brother. So, next. Sai Lo, younger brother. Sai Lo, younger brother. I always fight with my younger brother. Ye Ye, paternal grandfather. Ye Ye, paternal grandfather. Fong Sinke Yat, Nodo, we heard Tam no Ye Ye. I visit my grandfather every Sunday. Do you visit your grandfather? Sun Zai, grandson. Sun Zai, grandson. Koho Sak, Koko Sun Zai. He loves her grandson so much. So, um, when you go to visit your ye ye, your grandfather, he will say, Oh, my grandson is here. I got soon zai lei jo. Yeah. Mama, mother. Mama, mother. Ke mama hai go gao si. His mother is a teacher. Ngo mama hai go gao si. My mother is a teacher. Nui, daughter. Next, nui, daughter. Nui, mm. 她的女兒很漂亮, her daughter is very pretty. 你的女兒很乖, your daughter is very good, like behaving very well. 妹妹, younger sister. 妹妹, younger sister. 這個是我妹妹, this is my younger sister. 老婆, wife. 老婆, wife. 她老婆兩年前過身, his wife died two years ago, that is so sad. Um, 这个是我老婆, this is my wife. 这个是我老公, this is my husband. 孙女, granddaughter. 孙女, granddaughter. 我孙女今日回来. My granddaughter is coming back today. So when a granddaughter is traveling or studying elsewhere, so the grandfather or grandmother might tell people happily that 我孙女今日回来. Oh, my granddaughter is coming back today. 婆婆, maternal grandmother. 婆婆, maternal grandmother. 佢婆婆九十歲. His grandmother is 90 years old. 公公, maternal grandfather. 我公公九十三歲. My grandfather is 93 years old. So, paternal grandfather is 爺爺, and maternal grandfather is 公公. Paternal grandmother is 媽媽. And patern a uh, maternal grandmother is Paw Paw. Cantonese or most Chinese dialects have all these different names for for different people, depending on which side of the family they're from, if they're younger or older. It's very complicated. I just love how in English you can just call everyone uncle, auntie, cousin, grandfather, grandmother with the, all the different terms. When I was younger, it was super hard to memorize everything. It's like so gong so po guma guze. They're all there's like all different terms. So today we talked about fifteen family words, but there are so many different terms in Cantonese. If you know any of those special terms I mentioned, you can leave it in the comments or feel free to ask how to say say your mom's younger brother's wife or whatever. 
they are all different. So feel free to ask in the comment section. Please subscribe to our channel if you like this video and check out CantoneseClass101.com and I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. Bye! Hatsikin! Hi everyone, welcome to the Ultimate Cantonese Pronunciation Guide. In this series, you'll master Cantonese pronunciation. Proper pronunciation is essential in Cantonese, and in this series, you'll learn it in a fast, comprehensive, and easy way. In this first lesson, you'll learn about the building blocks of the Cantonese pronunciation system that will help you in future lessons. As you're probably quite aware, Cantonese doesn't use an alphabetical writing system like English does. Instead, it uses characters that are comprised of parts that depict physical objects or abstract ideas. Literacy in Cantonese requires the memorization of thousands of components and characters. As you can see, this can be quite daunting for new learners of Cantonese. For example, if you were asked to pronounce this character, where would you even begin? You'll pick up the writing system eventually, but since we're focused on pronunciation, we need to skip them for now. We need to start dealing with the sounds of Cantonese without the baggage of characters, and that's where the Cantonese yutping comes in. Fa. Yutping is the transcription of Cantonese using Roman letters. This makes learning Cantonese much easier, particularly for English speakers. As you begin to learn more characters and improve in Cantonese, you'll eventually rely less and less on romanization, but for now, it's a good place to start. Now, let's have a look at all the sounds in Cantonese. There are 22 consonant sounds and 7 vowel sounds. You can form every single word in Cantonese by using these sounds. Still seem complicated? Well, how about this? Of the 22 consonant sounds in Cantonese, you already know 21 of them. That's right. If you're a native English speaker, then you already make these sounds every day. You can also ignore 5 of the vowel sounds for the same reason. The only thing standing between you and perfect Cantonese pronunciation is two new vowel sounds and one new consonant sound. You can handle that. Now let me introduce Teddy, who will be helping you to master these new sounds. I Teddy. Throughout this series, Teddy will be giving you native pronunciation examples for you to imitate. But for this first lesson, just sit back and listen to the unique sounds of Cantonese. Go, ka, wa, kwa, mm. Mm, ban, pa, da, to, jun, chun, ah, he, yu. In the next lesson, we'll look at the top five pronunciation mistakes Cantonese learners make. You'll want to make sure not to fall into these common traps. After that, we'll start going through the vowels and consonants of Cantonese. This is your chance to learn how to correctly say all of the words you just heard. We'll finish up the series by covering some special topics that will really make your Cantonese sound natural. To close this lesson, here's a question for you. Why is it important to spend time on learning proper pronunciation, even if you're already an advanced speaker? The answer? You will be understood, and this will help you build more confidence as you communicate in Cantonese. For beginners, you're creating a strong foundation to build on, and for more advanced students, this is your chance to improve your accent and lose any bad habits you may have picked up. What is hard about pronouncing Cantonese to you? Tell us about it in the comments. See you in the next Ultimate Cantonese Pronunciation Guide lesson. Trying to learn Cantonese? You need a CantoneseClass101.com free lifetime account. It's one of the most powerful language learning tools you can command, and signing up takes less than seven seconds. So what exactly do you get that makes it so special? First, new lessons are published every week, and you get them for free. Enjoy learning with fun and effective audio and video lessons with real teachers. Make the most of your study time as our teachers help you hack Cantonese and get you speaking in minutes. Second, Free instant access to the first three lessons of every lesson series. Explore and try any lesson series that interests you, from beginner to advanced. Find teachers you love and lessons for your goals. Third, 
Learn Cantonese anywhere, anytime with the free companion app. Download it now for free for the iPhone, iPad, or any Android device. And have instant access to your free lifetime account and lessons anywhere, anytime. Fourth, boost your vocabulary with the free word of the day. Every day, receive one new word in your inbox that you can master in seconds. Want even more words? Five, get complete access to our word and phrase lists. Wow native Cantonese speakers with cool, topical, and seasonal words and phrases from our lists. And finally, number six, the best for last. Seven days of unlimited access to our entire library of audio and video lessons. Premium study tools like Line by Line Audio, Word Bank, and Smart Flashcards to help you learn lightning fast. Get your free lifetime account right now at CantoneseClass101.com. Sign up in less than seven seconds. And the account is yours for free for life. So what are you waiting for? Get yours now. Hi guys, welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about 10 lines you need for introducing yourself. My name is, I'm how old, uh, whatever. Let's start. My name is Olivia. My name is Olivia. Superman. My name is Superman. Or you can say that means I am. So Olivia. I am Olivia. Or I'm called Olivia. I'm called Olivia. Please practice and introduce yourself in the comment section. Ngolei I come from Ngolei Hong Kong, I come from Hong Kong. Ngolei Canada, I come from Canada. Ngolei Zi I come from Mars. Ngolei Hai, I live in Ngolei Hai, it's literally I live in. Ngolei Hai Tong Lo Wan, I live in Causeway Bay, that's a district in Hong Kong. Ngolei Hai Pat Lam, I live in Berlin. I live in Brazil. Or you can just put a place. I live in a cave. I'm a caveman. <laughs> I have been learning Cantonese for one year. I have been learning Cantonese one year. Or some people who are really fluent and you ask, How long have you been studying Cantonese? Maybe they'll say, Ten years, something. I Cantonese Class 101.com. I learned Cantonese at Cantonese Class 101.com. Where else? <laughs> or you're watching our YouTube videos, then you can tell people, I learn Cantonese at YouTube. I'm 26 years old. I'm 12 years old. Some kid might come up to tell you. I'm three years old. Yeah, usually people do this. I'm a teacher. Now you tell people your occupation or what you do for a living. I'm a teacher. Gaosi is teacher. I'm a firefighter. I'm a doctor. What are you? What do you do? Tell us. One of my hobbies is to dance. Okay, 这个时候是跳舞. I don't know. 我喜欢听音乐. I enjoy listening to music. 音乐 is music. What's your favorite type of music? You start with 我喜欢 is like I like. I can say 我喜欢去旅行. I enjoy traveling. 去旅行 is traveling. And you can say 我喜欢学广东话. I enjoy learning Cantonese. With me, Olivia. Nice to meet you. is a bit formal. means very happy. is to meet you, to make you an acquaintance. If it's a more casual situation, you can say I'm very happy to know you. So it's, I'm very happy to have known you. So that's it for today. Those are the 10 lines you need for introducing yourself. 
please check out the word list from CantoneseClass101.com and uh, introduce yourself with Cantonese and write it in the comments. Subscribe so you can see more of our videos. I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. No, hi, Olivia. Hachikin. See you next time. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome to the Ultimate Cantonese Pronunciation Guide. In this lesson, you'll learn all the Cantonese vowels and their variant vowel sounds. Ah, uh, e, i, o, u, e, u. With these sounds, you can pronounce any vowel that could possibly appear in Cantonese. Some vowels may be hard to distinguish, especially for English speakers, so make sure you listen carefully. Remember that memorizing and reproducing the sound is the goal. Don't get too frustrated if you forget when to use the variant sounds because that'll come naturally later. Are you ready? Then let's get started. The first vowel is ah, uh, sa, ba, san. This is almost identical to the A sound in the word far. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. The next vowel is a, b, f, z. This is similar to the E in bear. E, 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 e. The next vowel is E, C, T, Z. It's identical to the I in ski. E, 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 E. The next vowel is O, Bo, Fo, Zo. It's identical to the O in or. However, there should be more of a vibration at the base of your throat. O, 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 O. The next vowel is U, Fu, Gu, Ku. It's identical to the U in the word true. U, U. U, U. The next vowel is U, H, D, G. This sound doesn't exist in English, but it's very similar to the U in the word fur. Be sure to compress your lips. U, U, U. Uh, the last vowel sound is G, G, Ch, Su. This sound doesn't exist in English, but it's similar to the U in the word menu. First, try saying an E like C. Now try rounding your lips while pronouncing this sound. Listen to Teddy. G, G. Well done! You've just learned all the vowel sounds in Cantonese. In the next lesson, you'll start learning consonant sounds. Which vowel sound was the most difficult for you to learn? Please comment and share your thoughts. 
See you in the next Ultimate Cantonese Pronunciation Guide lesson. Hi everyone, I'm Olivia from CantoneseClass101.com. Do you know how to say I love you in Cantonese? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say I love you and a special phrase for Valentine's Day. Let's start with the most common phrase. I love you. This phrase is direct. You should use this expression only when confessing your love. If you want to be less direct, you can use this phrase. 你在我心目中很重要。你在我心目中很重要。It you means you mean so much to me. And literally it means in my mind, you are very important. Now, if you want to be more romantic in expressing your love for someone, you can say this phrase. 没办法用言语来形容我对你的爱。it means words can't describe my love for you. Now you know three different ways to say I love you in Cantonese. And there's one more. What if you want to spend Valentine's Day with someone special? In that case, say this phrase. 你愿意同我过情人节吗? Will you spend Valentine's Day with me? 你愿意同我过情人节吗? Use this when you have someone with whom you want to spend Valentine's Day. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Listen to the expression and repeat after me. I love you. 我爱你. You mean so much to me. 你在我心目中很重要。你在我心目中很重要。Words can't describe my love for you. 冇辦法用言語嚟形容我對你嘅愛。Will you spend Valentine's Day with me? 你願意同我過情人節嗎? 你願意同我過情人節嗎? Well done! Did you know that on Valentine's Day, couples in Hong Kong often exchange gifts. It's typical for the guy in the relationship to give his girlfriend something expensive like jewelry or a designer handbag. The girl usually buys electronic products or clothing for her boyfriend. You just learned how to say I love you in three different ways in Cantonese and one special phrase for Valentine's Day. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to download your free romance and love cheat sheets which includes romance words, compliments and pickup lines. Check out the description below and go to CantoneseClass101.com now. I'll see you next time. Hatsuki! Hi guys! Hi everybody! Welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about Top 25 Cantonese Adjectives. Let's go! Ho, Good Well I am a good person. Yes, I am. Dai is big. Your house is so big. Sai small or little, tiny, sai. Not the nan sai. My eyes are very small. Cha. Long cha. Chantal fa. Chantal fa. Long hair. Cha. Then short. Not this outy got hold thin. Let's talk about me. Everything about me. Yet hot. Today the weather is very hot. Dong is cold. 
I don't like to turn on air conditioner because it gets cold. It gets too cold. And it's bad for the environment. Pang, pang. It's cheap. When you go to a market, people will tell you to come over here, check it out. Things are really cheap here. It's like pang. Ho pang ah, ho pang ah. Go lei tai ah, ho pang ah. Things are really cheap here. Come take a look. Guai is expensive. Guai. Hong Kong things lao ho guai. Uh, apartments in Hong Kong are very expensive. It's it's sad. Nan. It's difficult. Nan. Fatman ho nan. French is difficult. Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Fatman ho nan. Yi easy. Yi. Gan la ho gan dong la ho yi. Learn Cantonese with me is very easy. Fai. Fast. I powder ho fai. I run really fast. Fai. Man. Slow man. I like the concept of slow living. Sun new, sun, sun in happy new year. Gao old. Hokan don't hold gao. My house is really old. Dumb sadi gao sam. Dumb sadi gao sam. Throw away all your old clothing. <laughs> Clear up space for new clothes. Lang, beautiful. Lang, lam gayan ho lang. Karina lamb is very beautiful. Karina Lam is a Hong Kong actress. You can check out her movies. What the ugly? What the? There's also another Hong Kong actor who is famous for being ugly. His name is uh, Bobby Yip. He just have an iconic face of being an ugly guy in the movies. Yao <laughs> Yong, useful. Yao Yong, Hongo Yu, Hou Yao Yong. Learning a new language is very useful. Mo yong useless. Mo yong. We must not become a useless person. We must not become an incompetent person. Bao is full. So after every meal, we say ho bao. Ho bao a. We uh, only use bao for the stomach. Tong o. Hungry. Before every meal, I say ho tong o. Ho tong o. Hoi sum happy, I'm so happy, a ho hoi sum so happy, hoi sum. But ye, which is cute, when you see a cute puppy, will scream like ho da ye, ho da ye, so cute. Moon, boy, moon, my teenage cousin always say ho moon, so boring, ho moon, goi, tired. I'm tired after recording these videos. No, just kidding. I love it. So these are the top 25 Cantonese adjectives that we use all the time. Try to make a sentence with it and put it in the comments. Please subscribe and check out the word list from our website, CantoneseClass101.com. See you next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to the Ultimate Cantonese Pronunciation Guide. In this lesson, you'll learn the top five Cantonese pronunciation mistakes to avoid. These are common mistakes that students of Cantonese tend to make, so pay close attention and make sure that you don't make these same mistakes too. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Number one, using the wrong tones. Most learners are not familiar with tonal languages like Cantonese. The meaning of a word can change if the pitch is changed, even if the pronunciation is the same. For people who do not speak a tonal language, some tones may sound nearly identical to them. This problem of perception is perhaps the most difficult part of learning a tonal language like Cantonese. Our lessons use a romanization system called Yutping, which is comprised of two components, pronunciation followed by a tone number. For example, ba. Ba, ba. As you can see, changing the pitch pattern, otherwise known as the tone, can have a huge impact on meaning. We'll have a look at all of the tones in Cantonese in Lesson 8. Number 2. Mixing up J and Y in the Yutping system. 
The Yutping romanization system is new to absolute beginners, and one of the most confusing aspects is the J consonant. Although it's represented as a J, it actually sounds like an English Y sound. So whenever you see the letter J in Yutping, remember that it's pronounced as a Y sound. Yao, Yi, Yun. We'll cover this consonant sound in lesson four. Number three, pronouncing the final P, T, and K. Some Cantonese words end in a P, T, or K. Most English speakers pronounce the final P, T, and K like in English, releasing a strong burst of air. This is incorrect. The final P, T, and K are unreleased in Cantonese. This means that you must not release a burst of air when pronouncing this sound. It's as though you're cutting the sound off. Listen to Teddy. Ta, ta, sop. We'll take an in-depth look at final stops in lesson seven. Number four, mispronouncing the C and Z consonants. The Cantonese C sounds a bit like a TS sound, like in tsunami. But unlike with the traditional TS sound in English, try to emphasize the T more than the S in Cantonese. Pronouncing it quickly may sometimes help with pronouncing the Cantonese C properly. Lastly, you want to release a burst of turbulent air when you're pronouncing this sound. The Cantonese Z is identical to the Cantonese C, except that you do not produce a burst of air. It sounds somewhere between a strong TS or DZ sound. Compare the sounds and listen to the differences. Zin, zau, ziu, qin, chau, qiu. We'll talk more about these two consonants in future lessons. Number five, confusing the N and L sounds in Cantonese. Learning a new language is stressful, especially when people start pronouncing words differently from what you expect or from what you've learned. Don't be surprised when you hear Cantonese speakers pronouncing the Cantonese N as an L sound. Nei, lei, nin, lin, no, lo. A similar case exists for the NG sound in Cantonese, except that this sound is sometimes omitted altogether. Listen to Teddy. Ngo, o, ngai, ai. This phenomenon is known as lazy tongue, and it's becoming more and more common in Hong Kong, particularly with the younger generation. This manner of speaking, however, is generally frowned upon. Stick with the Cantonese that you've learned. You'll still be able to communicate with everyone, even the younger crowd, so don't concern yourself with it too much. Now you know the top five Cantonese pronunciation mistakes to avoid. Try to be careful so that you don't make these same mistakes. Still feel a bit worried? Don't be, because over the rest of this series, we'll cover all of these topics in depth. In the next lesson, we'll start learning vowel sounds in Cantonese. Which of these five mistakes is the hardest to avoid? Have you learned any tricks to deal with them? Let us know in the comments. Stick with us and you'll overcome these quickly. See you in the next Ultimate Cantonese Pronunciation Guide lesson. Hi, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. I'm Olivia and today we're going to talk about top 25 nouns. So here we go. Yan is a human, people, person, Yan. Like you and I, we're all young. Nam Yan is man or male. It's actually the word for male, Nam, combined with the word for people, so Yan. So Nam Yan is man. Nu Yan, female or women. So people or person is Yan. And then women is Nu Yan. So water. That's something all of us would need, right? Water. So, I'm so thirsty, I want some water. Fan is uh, literally rice, but we can also refer to meals because in, in China, we eat rice for every meal, pretty much. Like chow fan, fried rice. Fried chow and fan, rice. Chow fan. Do you like eating rice? Cafe is coffee. It kind of sounds like coffee, right? Cafe, cha, tea. So coffee or tea. 
咖啡定茶？咖啡茶，咖啡茶，咖啡定茶 ？I like both. Actually, in Hong Kong, they have a special drink, which is a combination of coffee and tea and milk. It's called Yin Yang. Try it if you have time. 牛肉 beef, literally cow meat. So 肉 is meat, and 牛 is cow. So cow meat, 牛肉猪肉 So you hear the meat again. That is pork. 猪 is、uh, pig. So 猪肉 is pork. The pig meat. 猪肉鸡肉 is chicken, and 鸡 is chicken. So Chicken meat, 鸡肉 is what we eat. 酒店 are hotels. We stay at the hotel when we travel, right? And now, when you go to Hong Kong and you need to look for a hotel, you can ask people. 酒店喺边啊 Where is the hotel? 餐厅 is restaurant. Restaurant is where we go to eat. And in Hong Kong, they have a lot of restaurants. If you want to go to say.、Uh, Indian restaurant, <laughs> and you want to ask someone where is the closest Indian restaurant? You can ask 最近嘅印度餐厅喺边 or just say 印度餐厅 is Indian restaurant. 机场 is airport. The airport is around twenty minutes away from city. With the airport express, it's very convenient to get to and from the the airport. 去機場搭飛機，飛機 is aeroplane。去機場搭飛機，啊、uh, ，go to the airport to take a flight。to take the aeroplane to take a flight。洗手間 ，washroom or bathroom。洗手間 ，literally 洗手 is to wash hands， like 洗 is wash， 手 is hand， 間 is like the room。so 洗手間 is where we wash our hands， washroom。洗手間喺邊啊？洗手間喺邊啊 ？Where's the washroom？ 廁所，廁所 is toilet。It's a more colloquial way to say washroom。So you can either use 洗手間 or 廁所 ，and people will still understand that you're looking for the washroom。佢去咗廁所，佢去咗廁所。He's not here. He went to the bathroom。廁紙，廁紙 is toilet paper。Is a very important item, right? So we take the first word "t" and add paper "z" behind it. So "t" "z" toilet paper. 冇晒厕纸啊，点算啊 ？All the toilet paper are gone. What should we do? Oh no! Day T is metro or subway. It's a very common public transportation in Hong Kong. Day T. In Hong Kong, the subway is called MTR. For mass transit railway, so it's very convenient and it's the fastest. Usually, the fastest way to get around Hong Kong. They did how big? Ah, it's very crowded in the subway. Yeah, usually that happens during rush hours, so be careful. Taxi, taxi is taxi. It sounds similar. It's actually a loan word from English taxi. Taxi, why taxi? That's how you can call a taxi on the street. There are a lot of taxis around Hong Kong. Che car, a car, a vehicle. Che, do you know how to drive a car? 你识唔识揸车啊 ？Okay, home or house. 嗯，我翻屋企啦。I'm going home. 书 or books. 我睇书。I read books. 书，公司 is office or company. 我公司喺中環 ，My office is in Central。老闆 is boss。今日老闆會嚟，你醒定啲啊 ！The big boss is gonna come visit today, or the boss is coming today. You better behave. 警察 is police。警察 ，If you need any help, there should be a lot of police around town, and you can ask for help. 快啲叫警察 ！Call <笑> Nine 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 to ask for the police. Triple nine. 医生 doctor. If you ever fell sick in Hong Kong, you have to go see a doctor. 要睇医生 to go to see a doctor. 睇医生 So that's all twenty five common nouns in Cantonese. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out more Cantonese videos, please subscribe. 
and I'll see you next time in more Cantonese videos. Bye! Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about 15 favorite words chosen by fans, by you guys. So let's start. Momentai. Momentai is no problem, no problemo. And how about the logic of the Momentai, can you hold this back for me? No problem. Yamantai, is there any question? Momentai is no problem. So Yamantai is there is a problem, but since it's a question, so is there any problem? You cannot check in now. Is there any problem? It's true. For example, if someone tells you a secret and you don't believe it, and then you say, I don't believe it, and the, the other person will say, It's true. It's true. I don't believe it. It's true. Of course. It's uh, quite a casual phrase, probably from a Stephen Chow movie. Stephen Chow is a very famous director, a Hong Kong director, and there are a lot of funny movies, and he would say phrases that everyone catch on. Wow, you really become a policeman. It's on the to My of course. It's full of confidence. Yamogao <laughs> is ridiculous. If something's not going smoothly, something's not going according to what they expected, they would say, Yamogao Cha, Mohi seeing all the gain Johnny go humbly. Sorry, we lost your luggage. Yamogao Cha, it's ridiculous. Yamogao Cha, Melega, Melega, what is this? Melega. Usually we say with the her innocent voice. Melika, what is it? If I see something like this and I don't know the Cantonese word for it or I don't know what it is, I'll say Melika, what is it? It's a handkerchief. Qin Qin is money. Money Qin. No more Qin. I don't have any money. <laughs> Why are you like this? If someone suddenly changed the attitude towards you, you can say to find out what's wrong. <laughs> Why the change in attitude? Lang, Lang is beautiful or pretty. That woman is beautiful. Awesome. For example, the airline decided to upgrade you to first class. So you say, we're getting upgraded to first class. Awesome! Zang ah! Cafe, coffee. Cafe, I guess a lot of you love coffee, right? That's why you choose your favorite Cantonese word as coffee. I drink coffee every morning. It's actually not true. I'm, I love coffee, but I'm intolerant to caffeine, so I can only have a little bit sometimes, once in a while. Neho, hello, Neho. It's a very friendly phrase. Usually, the first phrase people learn when they learn Cantonese. Neho, pangyao, pangyao, friend, pangyao. Hello, friend. Neho, pangyao, pangyao, neho. Hello, friend. Notong pangyao hoi loi hang. I'm traveling with a friend. Tao wan. Tao is head. Wan is dizzy. So, having dizziness, tao wan. I get dizzy when I'm on a ship. Yeah, I would hate it if I get motion sickness that easy. Gin Hong, healthy. Gin Hong. Sun Tai Gin Hong, good health. We can wish people to have a good health. Say, Sun Tai Gin Hong, I wish you good health. Ngo Gin Hong, I'm very healthy. Yeah. So that's it for today. We talked about 15 favorite Cantonese words chosen by fans. And, um, you can check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. Please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. I'm Olivia. Bye!
你好，我系 Olivia。Hi everybody, I'm Olivia. Welcome to Cantonese Class 101.com's 三分钟广东话 ，the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Cantonese. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Cantonese, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if their answer is no. Here's how to say it: 你识唔识讲英文？你识唔识讲英文 ？Let's break it down. In the last lesson, we mentioned that 你 means you. 识唔识 is a form used to introduce the question using the verb to know. It literally means no, don't know, but this is how we form the question: Do you know how to? Then we have the verb to speak, gong, followed by ying man, which means English. Literally, it means you know or not know English. 你识唔识讲英文 To learn more about forming Cantonese questions, please look at our Absolute Beginner series on CantoneseClass101.com. You can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. To make this sentence more polite, we just need to add "excuse me" "mhou yi si" in the front. Everything else stays the same. "Mhou yi si" "ni xin mu xin gong ying men." "Mhou yi si" "ni xin mu xin gong ying men." The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Sick, yes. Sick, 少少 a little. 少少唔识 no. 唔识 Since this last one is a negative statement, we see the negative word 唔、um, before the verb to know sick. 唔、um, 识 Did you notice that is the same word used in sick 唔识 We'll talk more about it in a future lesson. Now it's time for Olivia's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Many people in Hong Kong study other languages, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute Ying Man with Yap Man for Japanese, Sai Ba Ngah Man for Spanish, Duck Man for German, Yi Dai Lei Man for Italian. In this lesson, we mentioned the expression "um ho yi si," but did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Cantonese. It's never too late to show your good manners. I'll see you in our next 三分钟广东话 lesson. 下次见。Hey ho, I'm Olivia. Hi everybody, I'm Olivia. Welcome to Cantonese Class 101.com's 三分钟广东话 the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned the numbers from one to ten. Have you forgotten? Here, I'll tell you again. 一、二、三、四、五、六。七、八、九、十。And now let's continue from eleven. 十一、十一、十二、十二、十三、十三、十四、十四、十五、十五。十六、十六、十七、十七、十八、十八、十九、十九。And finally, we have 二十、二十。Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. 十一。
，十二，十三，十四，十五，十六，十七，十八，十九，二十。These numbers are easy to remember. They always start with sub or ten. Then just say the extra number after it. Simple math. Counting from thirty to one hundred is super easy. Now I'll give you the tens. Sam sub, sam sub, say sub, say sub, um sub, um sub, look sub, look sub. 七十，七十，八十，八十，九十，九十，一百，一百。These numbers are incredibly easy to remember, don't you think so? The last thing to learn today is how to form compound numbers over twenty. This is also super easy. Take the tens and simply add the numbers you learned in the previous lesson. Let's try it out. How would you say fifty-six in Cantonese? Let's take it step by step. Fifty is um sub, and then add six, lo, um sub lo. It's done. Isn't that easy? Let's make another number. For instance, ninety-eight. Take ninety, gao sub, and add eight, ba. 九十八。Now it's time for Olivier's insights. For numbers between twenty-one and twenty-nine, you might hear people saying "ya" as twenty instead of "yi sub." Both can be used in spoken Cantonese. For example, "ya yat," "yi sub yat," twenty-one; "ya chat," "yi sub chat," twenty-seven. After only two lessons, you are now able to count to one hundred in Cantonese. In the next lesson, we're going to put your number knowledge to use. Do you have all the skills you need to go shopping in Hong Kong? If not, I'll be waiting for you in our next 三分钟广东话 lesson. 下次见。你好，我系 Olivia。Hi everybody, I'm Olivia. Welcome to Cantonese Class 101.com's 三分钟广东话 ，the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase 唔好意思，你识唔识讲英文 ？Excuse me, do you speak English? We mentioned the word 唔好意思 which means excuse me. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use 唔好意思。And other words when apologizing in Cantonese, we should use 唔好意思 in formal situations, such as when we're talking to or asking a stranger for help. For example, 唔好意思，入口喺边 Excuse me, where is the entrance? 唔好意思，你踩住我个袋 Excuse me, you're stepping on my bag. Sometimes we also hear people say 唔该 as mentioned in lesson two. Mgai means thank you, but it also means excuse me as used to draw somebody's attention. It is commonly used when ordering food or pushing your way through a crowd. We can use this phrase in both formal and informal speech. Mgai yabu yi nai cha. Excuse me, a cup of hot milk tea, please. Mgai zai zai. Excuse me, please let me through. But unlike mho yi si, we cannot use mgai when apologizing. So when you do something bad, remember to put on that sorry face and use 唔好意思，唔好意思，我又迟到。Sorry, I'm late again. 唔好意思 can be used for either excuse me or I'm sorry. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a different phrase. That phrase is 对唔住 It means I am sorry. 对唔住 For example. 对唔住，我打烂咗你部电脑。Sorry, I broke your computer. Now it's time for Olivier's insights. If you accidentally bump into someone in Hong Kong, 
you can say 唔好意思 excuse me, or 对唔住 I'm sorry, but never 唔该 Are you able to count in Cantonese? In the next lesson, we will learn the numbers in Cantonese from one to ten. I'll be waiting for you in the next lesson of 三分钟广东话。下次见。Hello, I'm Olivia. Hi, everybody. I'm Olivia. Welcome to Cantonese Class 101.com's 三分钟广东话 the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned how to count in Cantonese. I hope you spend some time practicing the numbers because they will come in handy today. We're going to learn how to go shopping in Hong Kong. Before we go, you need to know how to say how much is it. 给钱啊，给。钱啊 ！Are you ready to go shopping in Hong Kong? Let's go. You see something you like and want to ask the shopkeeper how much it costs. The first thing to say is 唔该 Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. 唔该几钱啊？唔该几钱啊 ？If we want to be more specific and ask how much is this. First, we need to know the correct measure word for the object. We'll learn about that in the next lesson. For now, let's use the most common one, "go." So, in the sentence, we'll say, "一个 as this," followed by "how much." 唔该，一个几钱啊？唔该，一个几钱啊 ？Excuse me, how much is this? And to ask, excuse me, how much is that? Again, we'll use the most common measure word "go." So to say that, it'll be "go go." 唔该，嗰个几钱啊？唔该，嗰个几钱啊 ？At this point, the shopkeeper will answer directly with the price, followed by "mun," the slang term for the Hong Kong dollar. For example, 三十九蚊 What number is Sam Sapgo? I'm not telling you. Okay, okay. It's thirty-nine. It costs thirty-nine Hong Kong dollars. Now it's time for Olivia's insights. It's quite common to bargain in markets. Other than saying the specific price you want, you can also just ask for a cheaper price by saying, "Pang di la, pang di la." In small boutiques or shops, you can ask, "Are there any discounts?" by saying. 有冇折啊？有冇折啊 ？In this lesson, we learned the generic measure word 个 In the next lesson, we'll learn more about what these measure words are and how to use them. I'll be waiting for you in our next 三分钟广东话 lesson. 下次见。Hi guys! Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about、um, the top twenty-five Cantonese verbs. We use it every day, every hour, a lot of the time. Let's check it out. Hi, B. Hi, B. 我系 Olivia. I am Olivia. Hi, B. Somewhere. Notice that is very similar to the last to be. Uh, is high and high. High is in six tones, and this one is in second tone. High. It means to be somewhere. It's、uh, always linked to a location in a sentence. High. 我喺香港 I'm in Hong Kong. 唔系 not be. 唔系 not be. 我唔系男人 I'm not a guy. I'm not a man. As you can tell. 有 have. 我有三只狗 I have three dogs. They are really cute. 冇 not have. 冇 is the opposite of 有 which is、uh, to not have. 我冇钱 I don't have money. 我冇钱去 go. 去去 is to go. 
我去 Hawaii. I go to Hawaii. 嚟 come. 你嚟啦 You come over here. It's like you come here. 可以 can may. 可以 as um can or may. 我可以弹琴 I can play piano. 我可以弹琴要 want or need. 我要食饭 I need to eat rice or something. 我要食嘢 I need to eat something. 想 want to would like to. 想想 is that want to or would like to. 我想 what did I want? 我想饮咖啡 I want to drink coffee. 我我想饮咖啡整 make 整 to make. 我整鞋 I make shoes. 我整鞋做 do 做功课 to do homework. 做功课食 eat. 包 I eat a bun, a bread. 我食包。飲 drink. 飲 to drink. 我飲茶。I drink tea. 飲我飲茶。中意 like. 中意 to like um to be found of. 我中意你啊。I like you. 學 learn. 學 to learn. 我學廣東話。I learn Cantonese, so that's something you can tell people now that you saw our videos. Man, ask. 我问问题 I ask a question. 我问问题讲 say or speak. 讲 is say or speak. 我讲广东话 I speak Cantonese. 我讲广东话听 listen. 听 to listen. 听我聽音樂 ，I listen to the music. 諗 think. 諗 is、uh, to think. Think. 啊、uh, ，我諗，我諗我遲到。I think I'm late. 知道 know. 知道 is、uh, know something like know a fact. 我知道你呃我。I know you lied to me. 我知道 I know. Sick. Know or know how to. So sick is to know to be skillful of something. So 我識廣東話 I know Cantonese. You can tell people that now. 我識廣東話 I know Cantonese. 買 buy 買 buy 買鞋 to buy shoes. There are a lot of things we can buy. 睇 see 睇 to see or to watch. For example, 睇戲 to watch a movie. 睇星星 to watch the stars in the sky. 走 leave. 走 to leave to go or to exit to leave. 我走啦 bye bye. I'm leaving now bye. And I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. If you'd like to check out more of our videos, please subscribe and check out Cantonese Class One Hundred One dot com. See ya. Welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's 三分钟广东话 ，the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴同大家见面。Hi, I'm Olivia. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Cantonese expressions. It's super easy, and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Cantonese. There are a few different ways to say it, depending on how many people you are talking to. Let's first see how Cantonese speakers introduce themselves to a single person. 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你。Hi, I'm Olivia. Nice to meet you. 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你。Start by saying 你好，我系 ，then say your name. 你好，我系 Olivia. Finally, say 好高兴认识你。你好，我系 Olivia. 好高兴认识你。Good job.
Now let's see the same sentence when talking to more than one person. 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你哋。Hi, I'm Olivia. Nice to meet you all. 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你哋。So what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a closer look at these together. 你好，我系 Olivia. Has not been changed. 你好，我系 stands in both case for hi, I am. Finally, pay attention to the ending. We went from 你 to 你哋 What has changed is the word for you. In Cantonese, the word for you is different if it is singular or plural. 你 is singular, and 你哋 is plural. One more time. To introduce yourself to one person in Cantonese is, 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你。To introduce yourself to more than one person is, 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你哋。Now it's time for Olivia's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands. Always introduce yourself to the higher-ranking persons before those of lower rank. In most cases, the person of the highest ranking will be the most elder person. If you use the correct sentence with Cantonese speakers, they are definitely going to be impressed. Do you know how we say thank you in Cantonese? You'll learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. Hatsikin, see you then. Olivia. Hi, everybody. I'm Olivia. Welcome to Cantonese Class 101.com's 三分钟广东话 the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned how to show gratitude by saying 唔该 or 多谢 In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Hong Kong. 准备好未 Are you ready? 咁就开始啦 Let's start. The most common informal greeting is hello, ha. Hello. Just as you can guess, hello is just hello with the Cantonese pronunciation. We use it when meeting someone, just like in English. But be careful, this is very casual, so don't use it for business meetings. And now let's discuss a more formal way to greet people. The one you're probably used to hearing is, 你好，你好。Literally, 你好 means you are well. However. We may also interpret it as "hello." We use "ni ho" when meeting someone for the first time or for higher-ranking people, such as the elderly. When it's time to leave, we say "bye bye" for informal situations. And you are right; it's just like the English "bye bye" with a Cantonese pronunciation. Bye bye. And in formal situations, use "joy gin." Joy gin. Joy gin means goodbye. Finally, in Cantonese, we have an expression meaning "see you soon" that can be considered both formal and informal. Ha chi gin, ha chi gin. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Cantonese. Let's go over them again. When meeting your friends or family, say hello. When leaving in an informal situation, say bye bye. When meeting older people or someone you don't know, 你好 When leaving in a formal situation, 再见 And to say "see you soon" in a way that's formal and informal, say 下次见 It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Olivia's insights. In formal situations, Cantonese speakers commonly greet each other by shaking hands. But if we meet someone we're very close with, we pat each other on the arm or on the back. During the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase "ni xin ni xin gong ying man." Do you already know it? I'll be waiting for you in our next 三分钟广东话 lesson. 下次见。你好，我系 Olivia。Hi everybody， I'm Olivia， 
Welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's San Fenzhong Guangdonghua, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Cantonese. Today, we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank others. 準備好未? Are you ready? 咁就開始啦! Let's start! There are basically two different ways to thank someone. When thanking someone for a service or assistance, we say 唔該 Goi mm, Goi mm, means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add sai mm, goi sai mm, goi sai sai means entirely. So mm, goi sai is like saying thank you very much. Another way to thank someone in Cantonese is to zhe. It is used when receiving a gift or money. To zhe. And again, to say thank you very much, just add sai. Do zhe sai. Do zhe sai. Let's break this phrase down. Do is many, and zhe is thanks. Sai means entirely. Thank you very much. Do zhe sai. How do you answer when you are thanked? It's easy. Just say, mm sai ha hei. Mm, sai ha hei. Mm, sai ha hei. Literally means no need to be polite, but it is the equivalent of you are welcome. So when someone says mm, goi or do zhe to you, you can simply reply with mm, sai ha hei. Now it's time for Olivia's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use mm, goi or do zhe, Remember that do zhe expresses a deeper appreciation of personal kindness and is used in most formal situations. Do you know what zhai gin means? In our next lesson, you'll learn this and other greetings in Cantonese. Do zhe sao tai, ha qi gin. Olivia. Hi everybody, I'm Olivia. Welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's 三分鐘廣東話 The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Cantonese. In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in Cantonese, including 唔好意思 and 對唔住. In this lesson, we're going to learn numbers in Cantonese. Yes, numbers. 數字 From 1 to 10 and you are going to learn them in only three minutes. Sam Fanjong. Are you ready? Let's start. Yat. Yat. Yi. Yi. Sam. Sam. Say. Say. Mm. Mm. Lo. Lo. Chat. Chat Bat Bat Gao Gao Sub Sub Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Yat Yi Sam Say Mm. Lo. Chat. Bat. Gao. Sup. Great job. What is before yat? Do you know? It's leng. Zero. Leng. You don't have any more excuses. You can give your friends your cell phone number in Cantonese. Let's try together. We'll use the phrase 我電話號碼是 which means my phone number is 我電話號碼是 我電話號碼是 Can you read it by yourself? 
Yi Sam. Perfect. Now it's time for Olivier's insights. When we go shopping at the markets in Hong Kong, sometimes we can bargain on the price. So learn your numbers well to get a better deal. Do you know the Cantonese word for 100? In the next lesson, we're going to learn the numbers from 11 to 100 in Cantonese. Your task now is to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson. From yat to sap. Hasikin. Hi guys, welcome to top 25 Cantonese phrases. These are phrases we use every day in Hong Kong and other Cantonese speaking regions. Here we go. Hello. Hello. So it's pretty casual and you don't use it for formal situation. Chou san. Good morning. Chou san. We use it to greet other people before noon. It's both casual and formal, so let's say chou san. Chou tao. Good night. You say it before you go to sleep. Chou tao. Chou tao. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. In Cantonese. No hai. I am. Or I'm. So you can use it to tell people your name, your occupation, your nationality, anything. No hai. Thank you, Nai Meng. What's your name? Say you meet someone new and you want to know their name. Say thank you, Nai Meng. That is pretty casual. You can say that to people around your age. Dim Cheng Fu. What's your name? If you're talking to people that are more a higher rank or older, elderly, uh, you can say Dim Cheng Fu. Dim Cheng Fu. Uh, that's what's your name in formal situation. And then people usually tell you their surname. Say the last name is Wang. So Dim Cheng Fu. I Wang Zhang. I'm Mr. Wang. Long time no see. Say you bump into your friend on the street. Wait, hold on, Mogin. It's like, uh, hey, long time no see, let's get together and have a drink or have lunch together. How are you lately? Hey, long time no see, how are you lately? Or it can be used casually with a friend. It's like, hey, what's up? How about you? In an exam, if I got a C, it's like, oh, a lost C, Nene. It's like, I got a C, how about you? I got an A. guy, please. If someone's blocking you in the movie theater, just tell them, guy, please sit down. Don't block me. Thank you. Thank you very much for the gift. So, Dote is for thank you. And there are actually two thank yous in Cantonese. Dote is when someone gives you a gift. Mgai, thank you. Mgai, which you heard in please, so it means please and thank you as well. For this mgai, this thank you, we use it when someone do something for us. Someone give you the change, someone open the door for you, pick up a food for you. We say mgai is uh, thank you for the service. hey, you're welcome. So in Cantonese, it's mm sai ha hei. There's literally no need to be polite. You're welcome, mm sai ha hei. So when someone say, oh, mm gai sai, dao zai sai, say mm sai ha hei, just like that. Hai, yes. Nei hai mai Olivia. Hai, like that. Mm hai, no. So hai is yes, mm hai is no. Nei hai mai Olivia. Hai. Nei hai mai Tai Hong Yan. Mm, hi. No, I'm not an astronaut. Mm, guy, excuse me. Excuse me, that is mm, guy again. So we heard mm, guy in three situations. Please, thank you, and now excuse me. So um, if someone is blocking a road, you can say mm, guy, mm, guy, mm, guy, and then they would unblock. They, they will go away. If you want to ask someone on the street for the direction, you can say mm, guy, some no. Excuse me, I want to ask about direction. Guy, to catch someone's attention. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's for a really minor issue. Like uh, someone stepped on your feet and they should say, and I'm meeting my friends and I'm late. I say, I'm sorry. 
for a more like most serious situation for a major failure, you use "doimju." Doimju is our next word, and um, it means I, I'm really sorry. I broke your computer. I'm so sorry. I lost your son. I'm so sorry. I can't find your son. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Is like now. Is what time? Where is something? Where is? You want to ask about the, the washroom? It's like, where is the washroom? is washroom. What do you mean? You can use it for many different situations when you're mad, when you want to um, find out more about what the other person was talking about, all confused. So you can say to show your confusion or frustration. Yeah. How much is it? Or you can say it's the same as 幾多錢啊? 幾錢啊? You went to Apple store and you want to buy something and you ask 幾多錢啊? To, uh, to ask for the price. It's always expensive. 買單,唔該. Check please. Yeah, you use it in a restaurant. You can do this and they will understand. That means check please. 買單,唔該. Check please. 遲啲見. See you later. And the last word is I'll see you later. And I'm Olivia from Hong Kong. Hope you liked the video. And if you want to learn more Cantonese, uh, subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave us some comments. We would love to hear from you. See you next time. Now that you're finished with this lesson, want to know if your Cantonese skills have improved? Take our free assessment test to assess your language, discover your true learning level, and get free access to a language course for your specific level. An easy to follow course where you learn the real language, the everyday conversations that you'll soon have, and absorb these practical conversations just by listening along with quick audio and video lessons from real teachers. So click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get assessed.